Yo, great to see everybody. I uh, I just got back from the gym and I showered and it's crime time, man. Is it illegal to fart on a cop? Like to go out of your way to get as close as possible to fart on one? Glad to catch a stream. Slot love. Is it illegal to fart on a cop? <laughs> I I mean, I don't think there's an official charge for it, but I imagine knowing cops, they would find a reason to be mad and arrest you. They'd, call, they'd arrest you for disturbing the peace or interrupting police activity or something like that. They'd find some way to charge you. That would be really funny, though. Imagine having a big stinker and you just give it to fucking Jake the cop. <laughs> so we're going to be watching another video from Stranger Stories today. It's a channel that I've been subscribed to for a little bit. We've watched two or three of them. The guy does a good job. We're going to be watching one called What It's Like to Interrogate a Hollywood Celebrity. It's about an hour and 40 minutes. Once again, we watch these blindly together. I don't watch these in advance. I don't know what the context of the crime is. I don't know what they're going to say or how they're going to react. That's the whole point is we watch these together. Trigger warning. This is about actual crime. A lot of it has to do with abuse and, and murder, etc. Okay, let's get to it. So again, um, do you know why you're here? In today's video, we're going to see how when thing. someone believes they will be able to easily fool the police, they end up telling unbelievable stories. Wait. These stories are so poorly thought out that sometimes they even have difficulty keeping track of the details. On July 12th, 2020, a 911 call was made by Candace oh. Jimdar, saying that she had just run away from her husband after he had beaten her. Responders found her with various wounds all over her body, I think and I've Jimdar said that at one point she had lost consciousness. When asked who had injured her, she said it was her husband, actor Brashear Gray. Police were able to locate remember. Gray the next day and bring him in for questioning. Yes, so Candace is my best friend. She lives with me. Uh, she goes through things, you know, it's some mental issues. Right away, Gray tries to set up an altered reality. I was about to say, Jim Dar is just say a husband? friend. She is his wife. <laughs> While some married couples choose not to use such terms, Jim Dar very specifically refers to him as her husband. What is this? So this is a little odd. Is this the, the same second narrator point of as the last? Is that he is trying to establish that she he, is mentally ill. Did he Ill. friend zone his By wife? This, he's hoping to invalidate anything she might say. Since it is a favorite tactic of abusers, it only makes him more suspicious when coupled with her physical injuries. Emotional issues, and I look over. Sometimes I, I say she can stay in the house. Sometimes she goes to her friend Laura house that she stays in Phoenix. So she's been staying with me for a while. Um, she tried to commit suicide twice. And we have an Crazy. open relationship as well. So, she, you know, I, I allow her to have like a, like a boyfriend because I'm really busy. So, Mark. So cool, bro. The guy that yeah, she, I allow her to talk to because she allows me to talk to other girls. The open relationship is also a lie. Yeah, it's because you're Evidence busy. was found on his phone that he was seeing other women, which Jim Dar had confronted him with, causing their fight. <laughs> In an open relationship, she would have known about the other women, and Can't it believe wouldn't it. have been an issue. Yeah, so we can have an open relationship. Like, I'll talk to other women. You can't talk to other men, okay? <laughs> Dumb shit. I, I believe Jim Dar is the, is the victim, yeah. Um, you know... That's so dumb. I guess they got what into an argument or whatever. I was at my friend's house playing football. Yeah, he got into, who got I get into a call and his cops outside of my house. And I'm like, oh my, this is not going to work. This this open relationship can't work then. It's oh, really? A couple of days prior, she was trying to kill herself. You know, you know, a girl texted my phone. And she's like, I thought you wasn't going to text any more girls and blah, blah, blah. And I videotaped her. She had a, what is he? a sharp scissors and she was about to does he have his shirt off of his body and over his face am i am i seeing that like is this a different is is that like something else or did he straight up just like put his shirt on his face to like mask his that's his beard <laughs> kill herself and she had about two episodes this week and i think uh, you know oh i guess if this is 2020 yeah it's a mask grab the scissors from her a mask because this guy's so got a neck she, gator on you know, she had a bruise on her leg that's all that 
you know, from the situation when I took the scissors. That's all she had was a bruise. She might have bit her lip. Her lip was busted, and that was it. He's I don't so know. Maybe he's just like covering his face. About, I don't know. She had new old injuries for about like two to three days. Here you go, sir. So today she's been with Mark, and I've been with my friends. I don't know what they got into. When I got back, it was. Uh, okay. Is he blaming it to, on whoever she was, she was well, I'm trying. I'm him. trying to understand because. Um, but you gave him a, a different bottle? Yeah. You didn't open this? Uh -huh. oh, okay. I'm trying to understand a big picture here. And mm -hmm. like I said, I don't know who all are involved, you know, but you're mentioning some other folks. Yeah. You're mentioning Mark. Yeah. So let me see if I understand this. Yeah. Um, so what's, what's, what's the um, young lady's name? Candice. Spell that? C-A-N-D-I-C. So let me see if I, I'm just to bring my partner up to speak. Wait. Um, so who's Candace? <laughs> you're saying Actually, Candace though, is one? your friend, best friend, your best friend. Mm -hmm. Um, are you married? Yeah. In a, in a, in a way. In a, a way. way. Married, like, we didn't go down to, to the, uh, we didn't go down to how. So you're, so you're not married in Miami. So you are. So you are married. Legally, so you are. Yeah. You're legally married. Okay. So it's your wife. Yeah. Okay. Like marriage. Well, not can't yeah. say that. You're young. You're like that's my girl. Right. Yeah. But well, you have a marriage certificate with her. Uh, I don't have it. When pressed. Gray admits that she is her wife, but he still prefers to call her things like my girl. Doing so makes the relationship seem less serious and probably makes it easier for him yeah, to justify been, cheating on her. manipulative as shit. You got one at some point. No. So, legally, you're not married. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. But, no, you're but, not. Like you said, I, it doesn't matter. I'm just... Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. and we're, we're just trying to understand the picture yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so um but you it mentioned took me like maybe an hour to get one dude get with it relationship explain that really no i don't think this guy's intentions were girls. forever you know it's girls that we want to talk to me she say you know you can talk to them and i say okay if you meet somebody if i trust them and i meet them you can talk to him she's been talking to this guy named mark and I don't know what happened tonight, but I know a couple of days prior she had a bruise on her leg. She bit her lip because she was trying to kill herself. That I videotaped her on my phone. My phone's dead, but one of you guys got it. I, I uh, you know, I, I wanted to show you that. And then after that, uh, tonight was just I got calls from my friends. There's cops outside your house. I thought about not coming to the house, but I was like, it's my house. Why? You know, so it was just. I just showed up and tried to tell them what went on. So you guys already go through? Yeah. Okay. So you, um... What? So you're saying Mark was at the house? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's blaming it on Mark lived in that area? I'm not sure. The fuck so is she Mark? would know where Mark lives. Is that right? She... She, she would She would know... She would be able to tell us who Mark what would is. She, what would she... What, I, I don't know why... Okay. I don't know why I'm... Here, so I'm saying, like, what was she saying? What did she say to you guys? Well, I haven't spoken to her, and that's why I'm oh, trying okay. to talk to you. They wouldn't she, tell did you she go anyway. to the hospital and say, They wouldn't say anything. Uh, Brashear Gray, my husband, I don't think she did that. I think she went to the hospital. Well, the information that I have is somewhat limited, but I was told yeah. that she's your wife. This, this, so that's what I'm trying to clarify. This, this is what happened. It, the, it's like, This is my t shirt, yeah. but that's not my crime. You know, I think she. she what? What does that even mean? This is my t-shirt, but that that's not my crime. But this guy really is a Hollywood celebrity. He just like says something and thinks it has like a deeper meaning to it when he's he's just saying words in a way that makes him he's just like, "Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what? At the end of the day, like it's it's a day, man. You know?" <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't want to get her in trouble cuz I don't want to get her deported. She doesn't have a green card. And that's my best friend. So okay. whatever our relationship is, it's my fault why it even happened. So okay. that's kind of why, you know. But what she would say is she needs to get treatment. So whoever asked her that question, who did that to you? She, I don't know what she said, okay. um, but that guy doesn't have a phone. You know, he just shows up. You know, she, she hits him up on IG. 
Mark seems pretty convenient. He's supposedly there around the time of the assault, and Gray has no idea who he really is or where to find him. This sets the tone for Gray's whole interview. He supposedly has facts and is willing to be forthcoming, but when asked about any details, he slides away from giving a straight, coherent answer. (laughs) Instagram. What is this narrator? Is this the same narrator as usual? Why does it kind of sound like he's, like, choking? He's, like, choking up. He's like... Oh, here it. I'm not trying to like, yeah, maybe it's TTS, I guess. He comes over. Straight, coherent answer. <laughs> coherent. Instagram. I guess it is. It he might be a robot. Over. That's very interesting. This Mark person. Coherent. Mark person. Have you ever met Mark? I met him. I feel like he but doesn't know like where enunciation skin, lands on each word. He like mixed, mixed with white a little bit. Black, more so black. Um, I've never met you before you have never met me before. No, no, no. But never. one of the things I, I give credit never. to individuals who are honest. Yes, sir. You know, and I'm not trying to judge you in any way, but yeah. then it's if I had to make judgment of who you are, it's going to be based based on my interactions with you. Oh, okay, okay. Right? But I, I haven't ate either. So my body, my head connected to the body. Right. This is only one head. I'm trying to have a baby. There's a lot going on inter- internally, so it's just... You know. What? What are you talking about? You see what I'm saying? What does that mean? Has he had too many gigs under the ring light? Like, what's going on here? This is one head, and I'm trying to have a baby. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I feel like I've forgotten how to process English. Am I speaking good sentences? Am I, am I making sense? Because, like, I can't. What did he just say? It's been eight minutes. Eight out of a hundred. We're not even 10% through this video. All right. I want to hear this again. Maybe so my body interactions with you. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. But I, I haven't ate either. So my body, my head connected to the body. Right. This is only one head. I'm trying to have a baby. There's a lot going on inter- internally. So it's just, you know, I know you're trying to, you're trying to eat through it. You're sharking through, but I'm just letting you know what really happened. And, uh, you know, I have I, I I have a career. I'm an artist. I have a lot of things to lose right. to be putting myself in situations like that. I would separate myself before we fight. We have plenty of arguments, you know, uh, verbal. And I talked to her mom on the phone. Her mom was saying, uh, you know, just talk to the cops. I was like, well, you know, George Floyd, and you know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to go back to the house because what if they put a knee and arrest me? And but it wasn't like that. Right. So. Her well, that's mom, good. Her mom's like, she loves you. Whatever she's going through, I just need to fix it, stop the arguments, and that's it. But I believe she, whatever happened that night with Mark, she needed to get treatment. She didn't want to tell me. She didn't want to talk to me about it. She just went somewhere, and that, she's from Trinidad, so she really don't speak clear English. So you really don't understand her sometimes. So it's like, uh, she could say something, you'd be like, huh? Uh, hospital okay hospital you take it to the hospital mm-hmm. and then she's like uh, who, who did this mm-hmm. who did this somebody screaming at her the who did this and, you know I don't know what she said to because she doesn't want to wait <laughs> is this the same guy and then she's like uh, why did he go to the who door did this? <laughs> who did this somebody screaming at her who did this and you know, I don't know what she said to because she doesn't oh, want to get in trouble. So she just, feel like I I can save her. Just so I, I which I can, which just, I will. Just so I understand. Which I, I know I I missed some, so forgive me. No, you was here the whole time. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so this thing with Mark happened what night? To the last night. Last night. Okay. And am I am I having a stroke? Like, am I? Is everybody confused about what that entire sentence was? Like, I don't even know where to begin. This is this is as baffling as that one that one we watched with Alex, where, like, the dude just, like, was clearly in such a dissociative state that he was just saying words and none of them went together. This sounds like he's, like, trying to get to his max word count on his essay, and it's due in 30 minutes. And also, he's a Hollywood celebrity, so he throws in these, like, random metaphors that he thinks land but he's really just saying very obvious things that have zero meaning to it 
What in the world is going on? This is already something else. I'm to understand that you were involved in any incident situation she got into last night. No, 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 no. She, we were all good. She cooked, let me tell you, she cooked uh, chicken, rice, and mashed potatoes. I ate twi two plates of that. Okay, what time was this? It's this so, is about so relevant. two o'clock, four, food. didn't brown four. She like, let's have sex. So around what time? Four o'clock. In the evening? Evening. She's okay. like, you know, I'm in the pool. She's like, let's have sex. I'm like, okay. Let me, uh, you know, at the let me get in the shower, blah, blah, blah. I got to take a poop. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> went to my friend's house. Yeah, she called Mark over. Write that down. He had to take poop. Write liked. that down. That's why I got that F1 Savannah. Write that down. He ate her food, and then re she requested sex, and then he said, I have to shower. I had to take a poop. Write that down. Very important. It makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> cat in there, but he's Everybody knows a pre-sex ritual is poop shower. <laughs> it's a requirement. Otherwise, it's a sin. <laughs> he's still a kitten. I don't know what happened. Okay. So I want to make sure I understand you. Because in your in your mind, it's, like, it's making sense. I, I wasn't there, so I just want to make sure I'm clear. I don't want to misunderstand you. Right. So I, you guys... I think it's too late for Around that. two or four, ate dinner, she wanted to have sex. Okay. Who else was at the house with you two? Just us two, maybe. Oh, but you didn't include the shower and the CBD. poop, dude. Yeah. You're not, right. You don't One get your the big picture at friends? all. Okay, just like he showed up for a second and left? Yeah. What time was this ish? Right before I left, like 4.35. Okay. And then you left the house. Mm -hmm. You guys had sex. Mm -hmm. You left the house. Yeah. Oh, bro. Um, and you went to a friend's house. Yeah. With, uh, um, did you walk to a friend's house? Drivers? I walked. I walked like to the park where the theater, the uh, school right there, around there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to disclose this location. But That's okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then you were there with your friend. Did you guys go anywhere? Or did you stay at his house? I kind of just passed out at his house, and then once like. Five o'clock, my phone was dead. We would start working out. Five o'clock yesterday evening? Your Honor, my client pooped and showered before he had sex with the individual. He's clearly okay. He's clearly innocent. He checked all the boxes. Morning. Five o'clock this morning. Five o'clock this morning, uh, my phone was dead. And I was just, uh, what was I doing? We started playing football. Okay. We started playing catch, you know, five running around. Eight, and, wait, what? Uh, my phone was dead, and I was just, uh, what was I doing? We started playing football. At 5 okay, in the morning? Catch, you know, running around, and my phone turned on, and they like, cops five? at your house, cops at your house. What happened? What happened? Oh my God, Who was that gosh. from? Neighbors. Okay. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I didn't call anybody. You guys, I didn't call my mom, nobody. Okay. I just handled it on my own and say, whatever, whatever it is, I need to stop. Okay. The relationship like that. Okay, so you left around, you, I think you said it probably around 4.30 or something from your house, where we were, mm -hmm. that same house, okay? 4.30 p.m. About 4.30 p.m., and you left your friend's house, and then you said you took your phone because you were getting text messages. How many phones do you have? Uh, one, and she has one, but she left that phone, I guess. Okay, so you took your phone. Let's Is that the one where? that the officer, when you walked up to the house you had and, and that we have, you yeah, said? Yeah. Okay. Where I had a video of her like this in the living room. She got a, uh, scissors. She's just like this. I'm like, don't do it. It's not that serious. We love each other. Okay. She dropped it once I had to tussle with her. Problem phone. solved. Okay. Wow, what a hero. So I, I want to make, I want to clear the air so you understand. Gray's claimed that he was out playing football with a friend for that long and the text message from a neighbor don't really add up. Why would someone text him that the police were at his house? Why wouldn't they assume he was there too? And Gray can't resist bringing uh, up mean, the supposed precarious state I don't know if that's of Jadar's mental health. Quick commercial break. Uh, I don't know about that, Chief. I could see why his neighbor would be like, hey, is everything okay? One of the neighbors I know who I have phone number had the police there i'd be like yo are you good that's not i don't think that's like a suspicious thing like that's not that's not a i don't know that's a weird argument i don't know we're not here to to say what you did or didn't do 
Um, I mean, our, yes, our you goal are, and our only you. goal is to find out what, what happened. Whether that is Excuse me. You know, truthful from what you're telling us or truthful from what she's saying or Mark or whoever else. That's our goal is just to find out what happened, right? Right. Um, so we're going to do our best to line this out chronologically, like then this, then this, then this, and see kind of how the night went on. Um, but just like you, I'm sure you hear something, if it doesn't make sense in your head, you're going to say, if it doesn't make sense in my head, it's probably because it doesn't make sense. Right, that's what I'm throwing up in the car, because I'm like, sure. everybody throws up when they don't have clarity about what's going on. It's just like, what the heck? Okay. Um, yeah, and that's all we're, that's in your head, you're going to say. Um, but just like you, I'm sure you hear something, if it doesn't make sense in your head, you're going to say, if it doesn't make sense in my head, it's probably because it doesn't make sense. Right, that's what I'm throwing up in the car, because I'm like, sure. everybody throws up when they don't have clarity about what's going on. It's just like, what the heck? Okay. Everybody throws up in the car when they don't have clarity about what's going on. It's like, what the heck? Did that? I think I have to vomit right now. <laughs> I'm certainly not having any clarity, so I might have to. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, and that's all we're that's all we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it with we're gonna treat you with respect and everything. But we need to make sure everything works out. It lines up and makes sense. Otherwise, I, we can only assume yeah, that something's yeah that, that something's not making sense and somebody's not telling us the truth, right? I I, well, I believe it. She's from Trinidad. So mm -hmm. anybody, if she's really beating anybody, looking at that is like because she's this is U.S. They're gonna be like, what the hell? What happened to you? And she's just like, my husband or my boyfriend. I, I, she's hurt, you know. So she's trying to talk and she's trying to communicate so you think she told us that you did all that to her no no okay i don't know how it steered back to me i don't know how because i don't believe that she would say that her mom okay i don't believe that okay all right so as detective hertenstein was telling pause birdie's home Bye. All right, we continue. Telling you that we need to chronologically lay it out, meaning time-wise, make sure everything that makes sense, right? And well, her mom is a. She seen the video. She didn't want the cops to know about it because she didn't want her daughter to get sent away. Okay. So I tried oh, to keep that video cal away. I didn't oh. call the cops. Sorry. Okay. I had to pull out my calculator. I'm days ago, I didn't call the cops on it because I didn't want her to go to a place. So, so Sorry. let me ask you this. Um, he went to your friend's house. Mm -hmm. What's that friend's name again? John. John. Your your friend's house that lives in where does that person live in Australia Classic next to the John school? You said? Australia. Yeah. His name is John. Yeah. Okay. And you were at John's house. You guys played football. Yeah. Right. And then someone called you and told you that police were at your house. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Who called you? Neighbors text just like text messages. Do you have that name saved anywhere? No. All oh, you know it was your neighbor. Next door neighbor. I got yeah, a man. number one time for a battery from a golf cart. Okay. And she was saying the cops are outside. Okay. I called her. She was like a lot of cops outside. I think they going through the house. And that's what made me like, oh my god, I got a Savannah cat. If the Savannah cat run out the front door, I lost out on 15k. Right. Um, so. You mentioned that while you were at your friend's house, you got mm -hmm. this call, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you also told us that you had a scuffle. Yes, a couple priors, a couple days prior to that, she we she tried to kill herself. Okay, but you said you tell me tell me about that. Yeah. So this she always she always as I said she has like mental issues like with girls texting me. We have an open relationship. Mm -hmm. A chick texts me on the phone. She might say yes. I want to get that B. I want to get that. She, I might delete it and she still see it somehow. If they have an open relationship, this interaction doesn't make sense. Be a it does, however, tell us that Gray has a history of cheating and it's something that has caused fighting in the past. Yeah. And then she starts, you know, I thought you would stop cheating on me. I'm like, babe, I didn't even respond. I just looked at it like I'm a man. I'm a, I'm, I'm able, I should be able to watch porn or I should be able to text a chick and not want to meet up with her. I'm a man. Let me be a man. Let me grow gracefully. So she was just really into it that day, her heart. 
try to grab it. She was almost about to stab herself because she's pregnant. I'm like, no, what? no, no, so I'm trying to tussle with her so we both don't get stabbed. And um, when was that tussle? That was about, what's today's? Uh, Wednesday? Wednesday 13th, yeah. That Friday. was Friday. What? Okay. Friday and Saturday she did that. And you have videos on your phone of that, you said? Or was I have a video of it on front, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was Friday. How was your guys' weekend? <laughs> it was weird. I mean, it was okay. You spent the weekend together. We so that was my weekend. How are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Every up day to? trying to make sure we got a good connection. <laughs> so you were home Saturday? So I was home Saturday. about me. What's okay. up with you guys, I was interrogators? Home Friday, Saturday. Uh, you guys do anything fun? Yes, it was Sunday. <laughs> I was home Sunday after Father. Did you guys? Did you guys try to get out of the crime? Out, yeah. And then you showed up <laughs> what time at this house today? Today? Mm hmm. I'm not sure. What? I'm not sure. My phone died, so I just was like, let me just, what time's it now? Probably 8.45 or so. I say we've been doing this deal for about, since 6.30, 7-ish. So you have, eight. you have videos in your phone of her trying to hurt herself what and you trying guy, to stop her from hurting herself? What is this guy herself? talking okay. about, we, Is it okay with you if we look at those videos? Uh, yes, I have to show you where it's at. I have to show, show you the video. I honestly okay. would have expected yeah, him to be like, no. Um, and that video was from Friday? Yes. You have no new recordings on there? I don't have, but that's our behavior. You, what you is see happening, it, dude? You don't see any bruises on her. You see a beautiful girl that don't have any bruises on her? That's, you know, that's her behavior. Very recent. Her behavior well, is not, not having bruises? Me, like, try to get her in a place or anything like that. Whatever happened with this guy... What's his name again? Mark. Whatever happened with this guy... She just went to the hospital. She needed the treatment. She don't have any insurance. She don't have any ID. She don't even have a green card. How do you know Mark came over to the house? Um, I had a feeling. I had a <laughs> feeling. She said, you know, she might, you know, have him come over. I had a feeling. Okay. I might die. So I, I want to tell you what, what's going to happen on our side. What we're going to do. Because we have to, we can listen to everyone talk, but we have to confirm for ourselves. We have to take steps to make sure that we're getting truthful information. Yeah. Right? So well, something I, I tells me they're to not. Make sure you guys, if anything, that's why I'm I videotaped it. I was like, this is Someone behavior, tells me not this is from not girl that truthful I said I information. I need to videotape you what's going on in the world. I'm not going to call my mom. I'm not going to call my manager. Let me videotape it myself. So I can show y'all her behavior, and then you'll see exactly in okay. video. And that's fair, and I'm not here to call you a liar. I, I, I get that. Yeah. Some of the things we do, we do a lot, right? We don't. This usually takes takes time for us to, to do this. But Did he just say he needs to show what's going on in the world, so he recorded his wife. He won't admit to his wife trying to kill herself. Incre it's becoming increasingly difficult to understand anything that this man is saying. He's like on something or like the like the one case, the the one where the guy like sacrificed his wife or whatever. The guy he was clearly in such a state of like not processing anything that he was just saying words to like fight for his life mentally because he couldn't like process what he had done. He's either like on some shit or that's what's happening or he's just actually a moron like a moron who thinks what he says is deep because nobody around him can tell him to shut the fuck up i don't even know where to begin with this one cell phone information okay so we we have your cell phone but one of the things we do is we go through where was this cell phone at this time where did it go from there Right, because cell phones nowadays, you could see where they went. They can yeah. do that. Right? Yeah. So in that case, we should see your phone go from your house to your friend's house. Which they Pretty don't. much there until Guarantee whatever time this morning, that. back yeah. over to your house, right? Uh, Sure. Yeah, but this, we have two phones. The you uh, second phone you said was you had one in the house. Well, I'm just talking about the phone you had. You said oh, you had one the phone. phone I had, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, even if it's dead? Yeah, yes. absolutely. But you were also getting text messages this morning from your neighbors, so. Yeah. Yeah, so they can track it even if it's dead. And when you receive a text message, basically a, a quick way to explain a phone is 
is me in my house wants to send a text to my friend in his house, right? So my phone goes to the nearest cellular tower. It goes from my phone to the nearest tower. That tower knows where I'm at. It grabs that and throws it towards the nearest tower to give it to the other guy's phone, which basically tracks his spot the entire time. It, it's amazing how available phones are and the lack of competence in terms of knowing how phones communicate and and basically expose your location at most times is, is incredible. I mean, how many criminals have we watched in these interrogation rooms just lie out their ass and then in the middle of it, they, they, they're just like, police uncovered deleted footage of the person admitting to or saying they're going to commit this crime. How many times? It's happened so many like so many people think that like deleting something on their phone is just like disappears you do know phone companies don't even get that much money off of making you buy the phone they get so much more money from selling your information that you willingly consent to the second you buy it that's their main market they're not gonna let you just like delete anything off your phone it stays a great example is the florida parkland shooter yes i mean he got id'd pretty easily and he got arrested pretty quickly something to easily condemn him with first degree is the fact that he they found a video of him that he deleted days in advance saying exactly what he ended up doing he said how he was going to do it he said what he had and what he would use and he recorded it and deleted it off his phone. But when they arrested him and took his phone and got a, a warrant to search it, they found this deleted video because they it doesn't delete. Things don't, they don't delete that shit. It's amazing how many people are just like, well, it's gone. Yeah, sure, man. But um, that phone just has the video. That's fine. That's not the phone. That That's fine. No, I'm just talking about seeing where it is, the location. Oh, no, no, yeah, that's Tracking phone. the location. Yeah, yeah, no, that phone is like, you know, it's kind of like a, I'll be honest, it's a, a cheap phone, so I didn't take that with me to John's house. You can hear I'm the convenient. concern in his voice when the detectives mention tracking the phone's location as well oh, as I the, didn't actually as the have way it. he speaks as he's rebuilding his story. It's not a very good one, and it only gets worse from here. A, I can't wait oh, for him to say he never went to John's house. I hide this phone under the mailbox, like, under the, like, neighborhood. So you didn't take it to John's house? No, did you take it. any phone? No. How, how did you get text message from your neighbor while you're at John's house? <laughs> she texts John. Listen to me. Ah. We can have a good conversation. Maybe there's an explanation no, for things. Listen, hold on, 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 just listen for just a moment, up, just listen. You never said what phone it was. Okay, just listen. You just said text message, I'm I hear you. to your brain, you just, I know, no, no, I know, I know, I know, just listen. I'm not disrespecting I know, and I won't disrespect you either. Did you just say something about her being pregnant? What? You no, 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 I know, I know, I know, just listen. I'm not disrespecting you. I know, and I won't disrespect you Oh, not disrespecting you. You have a career, we have a career too. I know. You're good at what you do, whatever you do. I'm also capable. Whatever you do, does it? Listen, you have a good career, or whatever too, that is. Okay? I'm trying to have a baby. <laughs> and, and, and I, I'm, I'm trying to, to have a baby. Also. I, you've given me okay. no reason to disrespect you, and I'm not going to. What does that yes. mean? But I, I can tell you that yeah. the truth will be known. You're it's lying. not the first day we, we, <laughs> the two of us have, have been here. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I understand. I'm telling you. So I'm trying to have a baby, sir. Okay. This this? Is, I, don't, I don't think that way. Okay. I, don't, I don't process things. I process my food. I'm nice to my wife. I guess I don't understand what you mean. What I mean by that is that I don't live in that regular world space. You know what I mean? I, me and my wife, we pray together. We don't use a phone. We hardly use a phone. I hardly talk to my. That's mom. that's fine. All I all we've asked so, you okay. is is what happened physically with physically. you. Physically, but you didn't say what phone I use or nothing. You saying okay, we can use the phone. Yeah, I did. I said the phone that the yeah. officer has that you walked up to your house with in no, your pocket. That's, that's not the phone. That that's I not the phone. You no, had. sir. I have got texts from John. John, they text me because I don't like anything that's people texting. I feel like that's cancerous. What are we texting about? So well, I don't want to hear the reasoning. Right, right. What phone did you have at John's house? I didn't have a phone. You didn't I have left, a phone? I left that phone in the neighborhood. So what phone did you walk back to your house with when we when our officers back. contacted I you? I didn't walk back with a phone. You didn't have a phone with you? No. So where did that officer get that phone? I gave it to him once I, I received it. I, hi, I hide the phone. Where? Um, I don't know which street that's on. 
but I hide the phone on the street and I bury it because it's I mean, like, this guy's really pulling energy. a lot of shit out and of his ass. <laughs> One can only hope that Gray is setting up some sort of temporary insanity plea. The idea that a grown man, a financially secure actor, routinely buries his spare phone what the is fuck? ludicrous. I'm actually trying to escape from using that energy with other females. So why not take it to what John's house and throw it in a room somewhere where you have to get around it? No, why because, you it? because I, need to be, I need to be focused on what me and John are doing. Me and John are playing football. Me and John, we're working on our hearts. We're working on our health. It's not for we're me to bring that energy to his house because I can get, working, you know, hiding our phones. We could get, probably get into a, you know, an <laughs> argument or, what is you know, talking, talking about his girl, I'm talking about my girl. We just there to be yeah, friends. John and, and I boys. talk deep That's into all. the night until 5 so, a.m. when we're tossing all. the pigskin. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. I respect what you guys well, in my, in a, in really a, in a per And I appreciate that. And, in a person's mind, in any person, uh, officer, anyone, an actor, uh, uh, artist, I'm done with acting. An artist, I apologize. Oh, I'm done with um, acting. Different, anybody, big anybody different. Anybody in the world, any reasonable person, if something in their head's not He's making sense, acting, it does, guys, that doesn't make okay. sense. That doesn't line up. Well, you just told me that. You just told me this. Okay, You're freaking there's an explanation. Out. Yeah, things just don't line up. I just wanted you. It to, just means it don't it don't line up, man. Well, I just really wanted you to know about our open relationship. Okay. What, did, what did Randy type in my chat? Why is everybody freaking out? They should kiss. Who should? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Him and this John guy. He seems to really spend time deep into the night with John. So I mean, maybe he needs to. <laughs> Seems to really care about what he was doing with John. He seems to really make sure that they understand that him and John were playing playing football at five in the morning. Was it contact football, perhaps? Was it touch football, potentially? Someone said wrong website. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'll we can actually I don't think I can react to stuff from that website. <laughs> I don't think that would go well what if he actually just talks like this and he was just like hanging out with John? Like what if he just like shows up to this guy's house and just says stuff like this? He's like, you know what? My mind, my stomach and my mind, my stomach's empty, my head. I'm trying to have a baby. You know what I mean? And John's like, yeah, sure, dude. Yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> dude, totally. Yep. Yeah. What you said? I get it. Vouch. <laughs> trying to get away from that world you know i'm trying to have a baby i'm not in the regular realm you know what i mean i'm trying not to like talk i bury my phone yeah sure yeah man definitely with that yeah i get it hey, get out of here <laughs> this guy's this guy's wild i think this guy needs to like figure out how to speak sentences correctly again i'm worried about him i was not there and that's not my business yeah. you know, i was not there from about you know from 5 30 we have an open relationship i'm able to talk to other girls she's able to talk to other guys and this guy mark came over and classic like i said the phone was in the neighborhood that's where it stays um i went to john house came back uh uh-huh you know when I came back, nothing happened. I didn't, I didn't come straight back. Nothing at all. John and I didn't, I come straight, didn't no. do anything. I didn't come straight back home. I parlayed on my phone for a little bit. Parlayed. And then I came. Yar, me and John deep into the night. <laughs> we be texting each other. <laughs> be playing football with John until five in the morning. <laughs> we be looking for females to text and parlay with and find each other's embrace instead. <laughs> and then my phone died. I parlayed on the phone for a little bit. You know, to see if she called me or uh, anything of that nature. And then that was the phone that I videotaped her. So I had to take that back to the house because I said, I, ca I cannot walk back to this house without no videotape. I could have went to Phoenix if I was trying to hide from you guys. I could have told John to take me to Phoenix. I had my lawyer send me. Why did you bring the phone with the videotape? Way to say exactly because where you would go. Home. I don't like anything 
and it's just this is my life you know I don't like these type of situations I feel like as men if you know there's a problem in your household and you have nothing to hide from then show up or run go to Phoenix don't tell nobody show Phoenix <laughs> and if there's a crime at your house if you're a man you show up or you run to Phoenix <laughs> those are your two options <laughs> Your two options are to confront the crime or flee to Phoenix, Arizona. That's your only options. One of the two. <laughs> Send the video. Happy Lord to handle it. But I felt like you guys will understand me and listen to me. Uh, we are I'm, I'm willing to. And I, that's, that's all. The phone was in the neighborhood. So that's it with the phone. I'm willing to. And I, I still want to. And we're having a good conversation. But, yeah. Are we? But you're talking in circles, man. You're talking about things that don't make sense, that don't add up. Are we? What, the open relationship? No, no, no. I'm okay with that. I okay. mean, that's your business. Okay. You know, I'm are we having you a good okay conversation? Okay. I can't I'm talking tell. about... You know, you went to phone. You, well, that's one of the things. You went to John's. I, I know, but we already. You already told me you had your phone there at John's house. I asked you if it, if you took your phone, how many phones you had. You told I'm me just cause, one phone. Yeah, because I'm looking at you and I'm realizing that you're a person just like me. You know. Well, convenient. So, if you say, after I told right. you we were gonna find the location of the phone. No, 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 no. no. I'm realizing. You gotta see what no, I'm, no, no, how I, I'm seeing. I, it. I know because I, I'm, I'm de I deal with different type of IQs and stuff like that. So when you ask me a question, I visualize that I did have a phone in hand to text my neighbor. My neighbor texts John. We're all in the same community. Gary's story changes from one minute to the next. Earlier, he specifically said that his neighbor what? texted him, not John. His actions scream the fact that he doesn't want the police to see that particular phone. This is understandable, judging from the multiple pictures of women that were later found. So I did have a phone. So when I look at you, I see a man. When you ask me, did you have a phone? I didn't get the chance to just breathe. I said, yes, I okay. had a phone, but okay. I didn't. I should have told you. That's, that's what I should have did. I should have just women. broke it up, but she was asking so many questions. <laughs> yeah. back, to back, back to back, and I'm just trying to answer them right. So what I'm saying <laughs> to you is. I be dealing with other IQs. Okay, so let's start over, okay? <laughs> I know, I, I could feel you want to be honest. Are you a bit nervous at all right now? I got you asthma. Feel, you got asthma? That's all. Okay. And I'm thinking <laughs> trying to process food. So we process food as well. Yeah. Again, what we're just trying to clarify about? the information oh, here. Do you have a phone number for John? No. You don't have a phone number for John. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Or you can get it from your neighbor, right? Uh, we're trying to we're trying to figure out the situation. You need to <laughs> help us. Verify what your number on John. Verify what your telling what your neighbor does. She has a number on John. For John. Yeah. She does. She she does. She does. She does. So if we get that phone, you you will be able to um, get that number for us. Sure. John's I'll... number. Right. Sure. Yes, you... Who does John live with? He lives with his parents. How old is John? He's about. He just nineteen. Nineteen. Lives with his parents. Do you know the address? No. But Estrella, around that area. Okay, so if I should show you a map on GPS from your house, you should be able to tell me exactly what house John lives in. No, it's dark. I don't know. I'm, I just dark. moved out here. See, I'm from Chicago. When it, yeah, but you walked there. And you walked I, home. I did, I did walk, but you know the sun starts setting around like 5 or How six many years. times have you been to John's house? This is probably my second time. I don't even know this neighborhood like that. And when it gets dark, it starts to look different. As soon as the sun goes down, it starts looking different to me. So you're not able to tell me, give me John's number. I don't have his number. I just met him. Not only are we expected to believe that he buries his phone like a dog hiding his favorite bone, <laughs> but we're also expected to buy the fact that on the day he is accused of beating his wife, he, an actor, has gone to the house of a person he has only met once or twice to play football. God damn. You just, where, where did he meet John? I met him going to a CBD store, leaving out the CBD store. Sick, um, dude. Yeah, dope. He was like, yo, you should try this CBD. I was like, yeah. We should play football cool. at 5 a.m., like, yeah, bro. What are your thoughts? At, park at this time, if you want to come through. <laughs> I said, oh, this is cool. I like friends like that, you know? So I met him at the park. We walked around his block <laughs> to his house. I don't know where I was at, but... So you met him... I love the idea of, of, of John offering him the CBD and then... Or, or I guess him offering it, and then the other guy just like not acknowledging the sentence, and just being like, "Yo, we're playing football at the park this time. You should come." 
just like completely like a different sentence fully. <laughs> you want to been to his house twice, well, like twice, twice What's yesterday, right? and today was or yesterday was the second time. What's yeah. John's last name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's the don't craziest know. love story yeah. I've ever heard. When was the first time you went to his house? How long ago was that? Uh, maybe like Monday. Like I just met him. When? Monday. It's like just me. A week ago? Yeah. Because today is Monday. Yeah, like a week ago. And today was the second time you went. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been back over there. What was the first experience like when you went to John's house last Monday? What did you guys do? Uh, we smoked some CBD. We had a beer. Some of the ASU kids came over to play football. Smoked play football, CBD? Um, and that was it. That was really it. Do you consider him what? You trust him? I don't trust him. He's kind of like he said. He yeah, bro. I smoke CBD. It gets me so high, bro. I'm like fucked up on CBD all the time, dude. It's like it. It's like good shit. You know what I mean? Like really gets me to that higher plane above the regular realm. You know what I'm? S I need you to chill, puppy dog. Hey, I need you to. F You're like here. Come here, big man. Come right here, big man. You're. You're you're being a little rascal. <laughs> Your vibes are like way too much right now, man. I'm like too, you know. I'm like I'm I'm trying to have a baby. <laughs> this guy definitely did more than CBD with John. I'll say that much. He was like a fan of what I do. So I was like, you know, but like do you it. trust him? I don't trust him. No, you don't. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Oh, okay. don't trust but John. You just and smoke out. CBD and play yeah, football at 5 a.m. Yeah, and definitely. sleep there. Stop right there. Definitely. Definitely. Stop right there. Stop definitely. right there. I felt comfortable. Stop really. right no, there. No, no, no. You need to stop this, what you're doing, right? No, I, I've I, seen um, Detective talk to you, right? I I've heard Steve talk to you, right? Yeah. And I'm just paying attention to you and I'm listening to your argument. I'm listening to your conversation. It's not an argument. I'm listening to your argument. information that you're providing to us. It's not an argument. Right? If and I don't trust every time we try to verify. Health, health is health. Every I'm time we try to this. verify what you're trying what you're telling us you have you've been changing the story every That's single time. life you go to qt do you know who's going to be at that qt gas station do you know how many people are going to be at that qt if you go to walmart do you Mr. know who's going to, no Mr. i'm asking Gray. you a real life question we're real life black people we're black right we're, what one we're african-american that's number one so if he's african-american and he's is? positive john is okay so we're african-american let's not forget that so okay. once we go into what he positive john is He's, okay so who's positive john is who what it we're african-american let's not forget that so okay. once we go into stores and we go to walmart and we go to target we don't know who's going to attack us okay we're just being positive civilians okay always that's once you take that mask off and you go you go somewhere baby rs for your daughter you have to you have, you have to be focused Who's you don't there? know what your brain is doing all you want to do is just be good at what you do so I'm saying I didn't trust him, but I felt that, you know, his parents are there. They gave us food. I just passed out. I passed out. I knew, and I knew when I woke up, I'm like, she's going to be mad at me. She's going to be extremely mad. So after that, the cops. Oh, wait, wait, the wait. So for, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with the cops. The cops what, about what? at your door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. About, what do you mean? About, I want to make sure I understand your story. Right? That's all I'm saying. I don't want to tell you your story. On, so what's the first thing you did when you wake up? You know what time it was? About? When you woke up? What do you mean? When you woke up at John's house. Oh, so when I woke what time up. Ah, I'm gonna tell me about ah, wake up. Ah, you know what I'm saying? We wake up, look at John. He playing Fortnite, whatever he playing. You like, yo, you wanna go work out? Yeah, I'm like, come on then. What time was some good about? CBD we smoked, like, John? Um, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, five in the morning, fuck okay. early. And we had Estrella, we're playing football until like six or seven, and he gets a text. He's saying, the cops at your house. But they're talk they text <laughs> your niece through his phone. He's like, your neighbors are texting me saying that they're cops at the house. I don't know none of the neighbors like that. They know I'm in the neighborhood. I just don't know them like that. And that's kind of what happened. That's all that happened. Okay. So when you woke up, you said you were kind of like, is she going to be mad? Yeah, I admit, because she's like, where was you at last night? Okay. Did he like say that, that they slept? Wait, pa oh, hold on, I missed. In football until like six or seven, and he gets a text. He's saying the cops at your house, but they're they texting me through his phone. 
He's like, your neighbors are texting me saying that they're cops at the house. I don't know none of the neighbors like that. They know I'm in the neighborhood. I just don't know them like that. But why would they know John? And that's kind of what happened. That's all that happened. Okay. So when you woke up, you said you were kind of like, is she going to be mad? Yeah, I knew because she's like, where was you at last night? Okay. I knew she's going to be like that. So I'm, okay. First, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, you know what? Let me just play football again a good vibe because then I can bring that back home. You know, we work out. You know, as men, man, we work out. We sweat. We look good. We take that back home to our woman. It don't matter what we did. We just, it's good after that. The detectives are trying to keep Gray on track and get straight answers out of him. But it wasn't, you can make he, out no, the frustration. He said, he said kind of something, not cuddling. Sorry, guys. And their voices. It's getting they a little too, it's getting, getting a little to weird, though. It's getting a little like, lies. I think he likes John. <laughs> that, that was really it. That was really it. Okay. I don't have John number. None of that. He How did you know where to memory. go? Because I don't have... So where did you move John? My phone is where it's like, I don't allow people to call me. I turn it off. Where did you meet John? Forty. Where did you meet him? I just called Ford. I don't allow people to call. Got it. Where did you meet John? CBD store. Where is that? Ish. CBD store is but right where, there. How did you find his house? It's like near Happy Cats and Vape. Tell me about the first time you met John. I walked out the store. He was walking in. He's, He's like, yo, bro. He looked cute. at me. He seen health. He seen happiness. He was like, yo, man, what's up? He's like, yo, you should try this. It's like, you a football player or something? He's like, yeah. You know, I think I had Candace in the car. And um, uh, he was like, you know what? You should come work out with us. That was it. And then where, what happened Work out where? that day when you first met him? Uh, Work nothing, out really. how? And then I, you know. So you met him at the CBD store and then you yeah. guys parted ways. We parted ways and we, I, I linked up with him on Monday. I gave him my number. Um, you gave him your number? Yeah, he called me from a block number. He called you from a block number? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what did he say? He said, yo, we about to go play football. We about to go do this, we about to go do that. I said, all right, cool. I said, all right, cool. I said, let me eat some food first. Let me put some food in my stomach. Let my head process. It's only one, it's on one head. It's only going to process muscles and arms and legs. And that was on Monday? I do so much. Huh? That was on Monday? No, that was uh, about that weekend. I met him that weekend. Okay. We linked up Monday. Okay. And then... To what, the phone, night, what phone did he call? He called from... What phone did he call from? So he called from that phone. The that, phone you have? The burn phone that I buried. So I bury I the leave phone that we have now. Yes, sir. Okay. So okay. I leave that phone in the area. I meet him at Estrella. John, I see him. the phone he buried is John's okay, phone it. now. Okay. I come back. You know, it's a rhythm. You They're know, sharing phones. Then, this is serious. You know, I look at the phone. I parlay with the phone. That phone dies. I'm like, damn, I'm going to show them the video. They ain't going. I be digging up they ain't take treasure. This. It well, be my phone I share with John. Know, I, I guess you guys can charge it. And we show be you. having so secrets dead. together. Okay. Once you let me charge it, I can show you the video. I can show my you. Wife, I, I, I can't her mind. Out, said, yeah. You want me to call the cops? <laughs> this is supposed to be a wife. I say I do too. She said no. They'll put it on TMZ. I, I don't have any problem believing you about this video, man. But, yes. but we're not talking about the video. We're talking about last night. Yeah. So you keep going back to this video. I believe you have a video. Oh, are you saying yeah. action? You say yeah. actions. You yeah, say, you don't you're asking my brain about, about actions. Sure, okay. You don't trust the actions of what I've been doing. That's what you're asking me. And I'm saying to you, these are the places I've been. Okay. okay. That's all. That's fair. I appreciate yes, that. Sorry, text bro. When did you call her mom? Uh, that weekend. You know what I mean? Like, what is that, Friday? Okay. And I told her, you know, it's getting a little crazy, but we can work on it. And you know, first thing, first thing my manager said, yes. Last thing we need is the cops coming to the house and they putting you in the rest and stuff like that. So when she do things like that, it just make me be a better man to her. So we have good days. We've been having amazing, amazing days together. And this guy that I allow her to talk to. I should, maybe should not allow oh, nice you. Know what I'm I should just, I should have just been like, babe, I don't really have the full energy. I don't have the full, cause she has, she takes a lot of energy. She's beautiful. She's, you know, she's short. She takes a lot of energy to just to function. I should have maybe said that to her. One of the things I need to do is I need to speak to this John person, right? So that's what I'm really trying to uh -huh. um, speak to this John person, just to help you verify your own story. Does that make sense? Any short people in chat that take a lot of energy? <laughs> what is that? What does that even mean, dude? What does that even mean? It's gonna be hard. 
How so? Because I don't know him like that. It's like meeting the girl at a club. It's worth a shot, though, right? I mean, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big deal. You're getting accused bro, of like that. But bro, I ain't been accused. She never said nothing that I, I guarantee you she didn't say that. She did. She Whoa. didn't say Brashear did that. She did not say that. The cops took the firefighters took her to the hospital. They, that and firefighters do don't do that. that. Cause I know, of course I know. I know the law. The firefighters took her to the hospital. They, they don't do she that. She said her husband. Somebody called. Somebody you used that phone and called or something. <laughs> they don't and do that. Use which phone? I don't know. Whatever phone that was, Mark probably was still at the house or something like that. He used because it's the phones are connected to each other. For people that want to know, whenever there's a serious response, I mean. He might have seen firefighters and just assumed, but whenever there's a serious response and there needs to be a police dispatch, uh, usually it's dispatched with one firefighting vehicle and one ambulance. So while he probably ended up seeing firefighters, they definitely didn't take her to the hospital. EMS would have done that. These are two phones connected to each other, but different phone numbers. So I can't who even knows what this. This is too, Mark was like, doing in that this house? Is too much. You know what I'm saying? And after that, boom. I don't. I don't think she's. She went to the hospital and said that. I think she went to the hospital and said that. Uh, well, she told our detective the statements. I don't think that. Until I'm telling you, I mean, she's, she's, I'm not trying I, to convince I'll, you. I'm no, telling I, you this. I, I, I allow her to live with me. Cool, bro. Yeah. It's the only gas station close to Goodyear. Last night you were there about I'm 10 so oh, epic. Yes, okay, yes, sir. So you, so you left mm -hmm. John's house mm -hmm. and went to the QT with what vehicle? Um, the vehicle, the, the rental. The how rental. is that even like okay, an argument that, here, that though? one that was in the driveway. I mean, first of all, okay. first of all, you, but like, what is her like being allowed to live there have to do with anything? Like what? What? This is the most word salad -y interview I've ever heard. He's just like saying words and hoping something lands. I don't know if he's just like going for nonsense and hoping it, it confuses them or what. Okay. Yes, sir. Who was with you? Um, Me and my boy, John. No oh, no one. Of okay. course. So initially, so that's another part of the story I didn't hear about. Mm -hmm. So initially you went to John's house last night at 4.30 or 5 for or something no like reason. that. You walked there or you drove there? I drove. You drove there? Yes, sir. And you stayed there until you came back this morning? Yes, sir. But your vehicle was in the driveway before you got home? Yes. How did it get there? So you're asking me how did the vehicle... So I left the vehicle there. I didn't go in the house. I didn't want to you know, wake her up. I went back to John's house. Okay. Instead of... Why didn't you just drive back to John's house? Because it's... it's you know... It's good to wake up, take a walk, force, your ch force yourself to challenge yourself to grow. There's nothing wrong with that. The questioning has become a verbal tennis match. The detectives will send over a question that should have a straightforward answer, and Gray sends it back with a bizarre spin. But each time he does, the detectives are able to counter with a question that points out the holes in Gray's story. Almost like he's wrong. made what like time did you, different did arguments for the same the thing. He said, uh, I got gas. And probably drove it back to the house like right after I got gas. So okay. probably 10, 20 ish, 30, 30 -ish. Okay. Okay. But you weren't with her when you did that, when you went out to the No QT. one was in the car. No one. I had the music blast. The car got, got the car. gas itself. Got my, got, got my stuff. Got the gas. Parked the car. That was it. So you got gas, you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do you remember what pump? Gas pump? Do I remember what pump? Um, gas pump could have been, but I used the car, so I didn't have to go into the cash register and say, pump five. It was, you know, this has been the first day with a lot of kids at this gas station. So oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, it was busy, so it just threw me off. I was just get the gas, and that was it. Hopped in the car, and went back home. But then walked to John House. Because we, we saw that vehicle at the gas station, right? We did. Okay. And that's why See, I asked the truth. Yeah, about maybe getting gas. Who else was with you? No one. I had I got in the car, and like I said, it was 
Nobody. And Nobody and named John. We weren't planning to run away together. Definitely not the Phoenix, Arizona. Back to what? I didn't look to see if anybody was in the car or nothing like that. <laughs> could, there have been, could there have been somebody else in the car? I don't know. When you just... What do you mean? Uh, you know, like I said, I when you like just if being... somebody's in my car, you know, I would Doing know. things and just, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know. When... When your wife, can I call her your wife? My girl. Your girl? My girl okay. <laughs> Candace, when Candace is in the, when she rides in the car with you, where does yes. she ride? She normally rides right next to me, like on the passenger seat. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time was she in that car? <laughs> it was like, my girl. <laughs> Fucking gross. Last time she was in that car, I took her to Ross. That was on. <laughs> I took her to Ross. She wanted to see big and on her off. Uh, I need to get the cat some cat food, and I need to get some litter. So that's what she did. She got the cat food, she got the litter, and she put it in the back seat. Uh huh. Fascinating. Seat. Yeah. Last night, did you get? You did get gas. I did. How, so do you have a credit card payment there last yeah, night? I do. For gas? I should. Once I got you guys charged the phone, I should be able to go to my Wells Fargo account. Well, we can get we can get that with your phone. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Okay, so you use the credit card to pay for gas. This conversation yeah. okay. at this point. You filled the tank all the way. No, I, I normally put like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. I'm not working. Okay. So I'll be like fifteen dollars in the gas, and that should last for a couple of days. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we're very. I'm not working. I'm smoking CBD and playing football can I ask with, you a with the yeah. boys. Did you go in the store or did you pay at the pump? Uh, only that. And Man, every day. I docked the car and I went right into the store and then. What'd you go in the out. store for? I went in the store to get two burritos um, and some backwoods. I don't smoke backwoods, but John do. Um, some backwoods. The gas station? Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I thought he said backwoods. he didn't go in the gas station. <laughs> he said he gave him some backwoods. I got him some backwoods. When did he tell you that? He told me that. He called me blocked. Like I said, when, you know. He called you again blocked? Yeah, he always okay. called me blocked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you went in the store. Where did you pay for the gas? At the pump or in the store? At the pump. At the pump. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of things. Kids with any with dirt bikes, in... kids with four wheelers. I was like, there's a lot of people outside. Yeah, it's today. busy. It's busy. Yeah. So you bought two transactions there. One for the uh -huh. food inside the store. Yeah. One, one, I walked in the store, and then uh -huh. I came back, and then I put the gas there. Okay. I pumped the gas. Okay. What, why would you go? Why would you go in the store? Buy stuff, check out, and not ask for gas when you check out, and then pay for gas at the pump. When you can literally, like, add it to what... Also, they gave this guy a mask. Why is his shirt still, like, around his neck? Is he trying to, like, act huge to the police so they... They're, does he think he's going to, like, scare them off? Yeah, I went to John's. <sighs> Ugh. We hung out and played football. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it just starts like posing. <laughs> what kind of credit card? Like Visa, Mastercard? Is it debit card or credit card? It's a temporary card. Temporary card. Yeah, because my other card was chipped. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they sent you like a temporary one. Yes, you did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, what if they have an interview with whoever John is, and they're like, "I I don't know this man." <laughs> He started following me from the CBD store to my house. <laughs> oh, shit. That'd be funny. Yeah, John's probably just not real. That's true. I mean, clearly John is an alibi piece. So there's definitely no way that like, no John, Sag. I would love for him to actually be real and just be like, I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> the entire interview. Is it just this guy? Please. Oh my god. I'll do, I'll do, please. I'll get your water. It looks right. like um, a, he stands up at one days. point. Look at him go over here. Mm -hmm. bada, bada, bada. Um, you have, mm -hmm. like Detective Hertenstein was explaining to you, mm -hmm. technology. Yes. With phones, you know. <laughs> he was mm -hmm. explaining GPS, technology. Yes, sir. Surveillance videos. Yes, yeah, so you should see me, you know. You know, uh, at the gas station. You should definitely, that's something the truth. You should definitely see me get gas, and, but I'll let you talk. No, that that's doesn't. Um, it's a dialogue, so I, I don't mind you, you uh, know, interjecting and saying what you need to say. Yeah. Um, 
But what if we Getting tell gas you that we saw someone scared of a anything. car on a surveillance video? On what surveillance video? At the QT. I would, I would be like, that would be, that would be, Gray is struggling to come up with an answer to this question. I can't believe it. It's something that. he should have already considered because all major gas stations have security cameras these days. No, you see, I went invisible in there. I turned intangible and invisible so nobody could see or feel my vibes. Why is he taking so long? I, I say that it'd be a surprise. Um, I'm gonna try. What? Pause. I guess. Like that would be. What did he even ask him? The car on surveillance video. On what surveillance video? We saw someone else get out of the car in the surveillance video. At the QT. That's what he asked him. I would. I would be like that. Would be. That would be. He said, what if we have surveillance video of someone else getting out of the car? And he's like, wait. Because struggling. Yeah. I would, I would. Video. I think he did. I would, I would be like, that would be, Bruh. that would be. <laughs> I can't remember it. Gray is struggling to come up with an answer to this question. It I'm trying to find the vine boom. <laughs> I could, it, it would be so easy for me to memorize these sounds, but it's so much funnier that I have no idea. Discord. <laughs> I don't have that one. I, I say That's that funny though. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a copy of that video. I don't have it here. Obviously. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna try and get a copy of that video. Okay. And Mr. Gray, one of the things I'm trying to do, you know, um, establish. Like I said, is put the pieces, pieces together together i respect you and everything that you tell me mm -hmm. it's my job to verify it i'm doing my job Help i respect you for the, whole, the job thing the information not that, that i'm providing to you. I, had, I said i am right? not yeah it's my home i allow her to stay there no hold on so cool bro what Thanks a so. hero but, um the information that i want to verify is what an angel Where i'm allowing were? my wife to live with me Yesterday, you mentioned you were yeah. at John's house. Yes, sir. Look at me. Right. I need a phone number for John. I don't have a phone number. I need to know the neighbor who texted John. One of the neighbors from the rock. Definitely. Who did? Who specifically? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. know all of them. They all see me. They are not in. married? Yeah, but he keeps saying it's his wife. He's saying he, it's his wife when it's convenient and when it's like absolving him and disconnecting him from what he did. He's referring to her as like my girl or whatever. He says it's his wife whenever it's like it looks good for him to say that. Fun stuff. And they all see me. They all know about John. John came over to the house, you know, probably like once. Yeah, classic you know John. Saying? John's just that? a goof. Everybody knows John. Uh, the first time I met him, he came to the house to see the pool one time. You know, I thought you met him uh, at the CBD place. One of the neighbors seen him. I don't know which house she was at, but she was jogging with her, with her daughter. And, oh, I know you. And that was it. And how did she get John's number? She had his number. She knows his parents. She knows John's parents. Classic yeah. John. Okay, so you know, you know what? John, the neighborhood, house on the street the neighborhood she friend. No, she Classic was walking. John. She wasn't too far down from my house. He was coming out. She's like, John? He's like, yeah, you know, it's my boy. It's my buddy. And, I guess when this when this scene crime scene happened, she texted John because she knew I was with John. She just how did she know that? I don't know. She just like there's a lot of cops at Brashear's house. 
I looked at it and I, it's coming to me because it's my house. And I'm thinking. Repetition. Thank you for not letting him. Okay. I love that yeah, he's I skipping and repeating. Have you ever gotten into a physical That's altercation? That's with actually Candace great. No. In the past? Never. But other than that, like I said, other than that date, um, your partner, he's not going. That's us. I get to actually express it. That day, um, what, no. Friday? What? And that day, um, your partner, he's not going. That's us. I get to actually express it. That day, um, what, Friday? I was trying to get the scissors out of hand. So she bit her lip. It was getting bigger every day. And then she had a bruise on her leg because I, we both fell. Because we both she fell was... on that concrete floor. You see the floor in the house, it's concrete. And so I just, it. I just pretty much asked if he have ever had any physical altercations with yeah. Candace. So he was just reiterating. Well, you like experience on really Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you were telling us about the experience on Friday with her when it got physical. Yes. Uh, like I said, uh, she had a knife in her hand, and I was trying to take the knife out of her hand. And she kind she said of it was her scissors. Lip, where her lip was swelling up for a couple of days, and then she had a bruise. She kind of bit her lip. How did that happen? But we both fell because she's like this. She's she like this with fell the, the scissors. Biting her like, lip, and it. that injured her leg. We, we, we cannot be doing this. And I won't text no other female. I won't put you in this situation again, basically. And she was wow, like, no, what a hero. Don't you come near me because I'll cut you. But that's not, that don't need to be there. You know, she just said, don't come near me. I'm like, you're not going to just do this, and I'm not going to be able to save you. No, so I, I even risked my own life of getting killed. And it was a tussle. In my made up we could have fell and the knife would have went to me. But the knife went in this side. I'm a hero in my you made know, up she was trying to Struggle with it, struggle with it. I finally got it out of her hand. And that was it. That yeah. was you saying that was Friday? Friday. Friday. That was it. Um for someone that has been so vague about his movements, Gray is able to be amazingly descriptive of that particular altercation. Not only does his story cast doubt on her mental state, but he can also use it to account for any defensive injuries he might have on his body. Are we able to get a copy of I mean, you can argue that, but also, like, forensics is really advanced. You, you can tell how a wound... You can tell if a wound on somebody is in a defensive fashion based off of the way they come in contact with something. Because if I'm defending myself, I respond to something differently than if I'm not aware of it. So like they can actually tell defensive wounds from non-defensive wounds, interestingly enough. it's it, Forensics is very fascinating. I almost did forensics. I would have had to be smart to do that, so I didn't that surveillance video from QT? Mm-hmm. I'm sure. You should be. Um, I think we might already have it. I'm not sure about that, but we might already have it. Yeah, I need to review that. Um, so, but I did learn a couple things. Okay. Um, have the footage. So that phone you have, John that we fake. have, that, <laughs> that you came home with, what's that phone number? Uh, that phone number Oh, it, he muted it because I'm assuming he's saying the phone number. And so that's the same I was phone like, what that happened? called from the gas station last night at 10 something. Really? To, to say she was trying to say she she jumped out, she was missing or something like that. Ooh. But that's the phone that was buried, right? That Ooh, could have been that's Mark incriminating to me. Because, like I said, when I leave that car there, I leave that phone there, you know? And the phone is in the car, and the car is. The phone is. You start the button. You start the button in the car. The keys are in there already. Mm -hmm. So he's already open. So I don't know. Maybe Where was the phone he's buried? Switching this, putting this on me. Where was the phone buried? Um, the phone was in the car for a little bit, and then um, I buried it. I put it over there, and uh, where is it? Near Estrella. Near so the phone was in the car for a little bit. So that's a yeah. new. That's a new thing too, right? Yeah. When yeah, was? Probably, oh. Yeah. I've been coming. I don't understand. Like, yeah, I'm making shit the up. Phone was in the car. Uh huh. When? <laughs> yep. Uh, when I drove back to QT, I left the car. I remember I went to the John house. Uh -huh. Came back. Right. So I and that's back. a and that, that was about the same time that 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 phone call. No, no, I dropped. I got gas. I dropped the car back home. Right. Yeah, but what time did car. you get gas though? Yeah, like 
10-ish. Mm -hmm. About 10-ish? That's about the right time, yeah. Yeah, so I got gas around 10, dropped the car back off, left the phone. I forgot that I done left the phone in the car. I can't do that. She will go through the phone. So I thought you buried it. He got me halfway to John house, come back and get the phone, bury the phone. Why, why were you... So around like 10.45-ish is when I buried the phone. So basically what you're, what you're relying on at this point is the idea that you halfway to John's house, which is Joe, like, Joe, <laughs> the third message that was like, <laughs> to John's house, you know, walking distance to the Estrella theater is probably only 20 minutes from the house. The theater, the theater. So that's where we were practicing at, like around there. Oh, 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 the where the high school is? Yeah. Or? Okay, okay. So it's about this is I'm halfway walking there. I got like, oh, no, I got to come back. I come back around 10, 15 minutes later. I don't see any lights on. I'm thinking she's asleep. I don't see anything. Bury my phone, so no like, cool. Let me hide the phone. Let me go have fun with John. Today is a brand new day. You know? Have fun with John. I know one thing's for sure. I don't have to run in circles to understand her story. I gotta run in circles to understand what you're trying to do. Cause tell I'm me. doing a lot. Like she's 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 just being a girl, staying in one place. I'm going to get gas, going this place. I'm doing this. When you went to get gas, you went to John's house. That's it. Yeah, but I got right. gas and dropped the car back home. That's all. I just wanted to go to John's yeah, house and play some football. All I'm trying to wrap my head around was, the yeah, idea that I, you drove the car back to her house. Or to, to, my your, house. to your house. I'm yeah. sorry. Everybody knows the peak peak masculinity is getting gas in your car. Where she oh my was. God. Of course. She, she Park is there. I can get a copy of this. Yeah. I remain sedentary in my house. Just girly things. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, the fuck? Oh, yeah, we'll go what through. is he talking right, about, back dude? to John's house. Uh-huh. Anybody else, like, well, sedentary right away. now? Like, am I crazy? <laughs> I left the phone in the car. Left the phone in the car. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. For about okay. 15 minutes. So okay. I don't know if John used it to call to try to put things on me because it's all connected to my phone. If who used it? No, Mark. Mark, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. You know? So John knows like said, Mark, she, and Mark was the one who happened, came over and she, did this she, crime she that say, definitely he didn't do. Right? And then at what point did you come back and get the phone out she, of the I'm sitting, is anyone else sitting right now? Like, I'm feeling a lot of the same energy right here. Like, is anybody else, like, for real? Like, is anybody sitting? Like, am I the only person sitting right now? Does anybody else, like, feel this vibe that I'm feeling? <laughs> This is such like a sedentary, like feminine moment for all of us, you know, as like a, as one does as a female, we sedentary <laughs> according to whatever the fuck this guy's talking about. I, I'm giving off a lot of feminine vibes by my sedentary nature right now, according to, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, whatever his name is. Car. She's Trinidad, so she doesn't speak English. I get that. Yeah, yeah. So, at what point did you get the phone out of the car and go bury Everybody it? Everybody knows. The, you, you can Not only be masculine if you yeah. get gas. So, 10.45 until this morning when you walked back and unburied it. That's the, the ultimate phone, test of masculinity. The tower, cell towers and stuff is going to show the phone there. Can you yeah. pay $4 okay, well, a gallon? Have, you know, you know. And fill up the tank. Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You know, like, yeah. neighborhood kids. Okay, what about them? Uh, they yeah. seem buried before. So you think they unburied it? <laughs> As technology advances, it gets harder and harder to lie about. It is also harder to make people I can't believe up it. out of thin air. Mark and John, if they exist, should be easy to track down. If John could corroborate Gray's story, you'd think he'd be more than willing to give the detectives the phone number or even a general street address. He's always moving around. Okay, and then yeah, and then he's always like and then reburied it so that yeah, he could get it He's not later. sedentary. Yes. Yes. Very okay. masculine okay. of him. Very yes. masculine of John to okay. not be uh, sedentary to fill up his before. tank. Okay. They always see because they were as out a there man, too, as a fellow masculine yeah, man, like, yeah, I'm yeah, so I'm jealous of John. He is so mobile and gas filling. That's a real man. <laughs> but she's just so tender. She's so tender headed. She, she bruised easily. 
even when we have sex, she bruised. So I know that she, if they got into a fight, it don't look cute. Where does she bruise when you have sex? Um, <laughs> Like if I grab her waist, you can see my hand, my fingers. On That's what shoulder. I was gonna yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, like. And she's from Trinidad, huh? Yeah. Like, I haven't spoken to her myself. Does she speak good English? Like we have she does. Sex, Pretty clear. We, she does. Like lots of it. You know and what I mean? we established that the, the reason she would tell officers that you did this mm -hmm. is to slap in the face to say, you know. Stop, stop it, you know? It's time for us to just be us, you know? No insiders, no outsiders. And Stop what? What do you think she's trying to tell you stop? Stop, stop the cheating, I guess. Stop. Gray even refers to seeing other women as cheating, reinforcing the fact that he and Jim Dar yeah, do not to have say. an open relationship as he has tried to claim. Yep. Although they don't say anything about it, Defense you lawyer can be sure the that the detectives are picking up on these verbal slips. Yep. I, the the prosecuting attorney is definitely going uh, to, stop, that's for sure. Uh, Why don't she just talk about the relationship? Why don't she just talk to you about that? Because, you know, she can. She can talk to me about anything, but she, she just wants to be supportive. She don't want to. This don't. isn't very supportive, telling the cops that you did this stuff to her. Yeah. That's not supportive, but at the same time, she don't have a green card. So she, she does not want to get deported. You know, and that's a big thing with her. She does not want to get deported. And I'm like, uh, I'll take the fall, you know, but at the same time, it sounds like you're take taking fall, advantage. You have to anything. see the video. And well, I don't want you to take the fall for anything you ain't done. Yeah. I don't want anyone doing that's that. That's my wife. I just don't want her. I, I put myself in a situation. Oh, that's so when man, he's being rogue, it's his wife. I don't know wife. what's next with this. Here's what I can, here's what I can tell you. I'll, I'll say this, and I don't know where my partner stands on this, okay? I, I won't speak for him. I'm just going to speak for me. I don't believe you. And that's just me being honest and, and in a respectful way. I'm I can't not, believe I'm not it. being disrespectful, okay? okay. I, I don't believe you. It's okay. Uh, um... And we we're, do, we're on the same page with that. And we do because it's not. I'm trying to figure it out. It's not adding you know, up. They're sick of you it. Guys, you guys, you're detectives. You know what I mean? It's. it's I'm definitely. trying to help you. Put you know, put the yeah. story together. Yeah, this is gonna. This is going to line up for us. It's going to because we're gonna track the phone locations, mm -hmm. right? Um, put the phone numbers the phone together. Guy, remember the phone. Guy. It doesn't matter. Oh. Um, all the phones, you know, okay. with the vehicle locations, the surveillance, and everything like that. Okay. Um, because that stuff doesn't lie, right? It just doesn't lie. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's there's uh, ring cameras around your house too oh. to help us show you coming and going. You know, like that neighbors neighbors have ring cameras. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. So that'll show that'll and obviously I haven't done that yet because it's still early, right? But that'll help us say, okay, yep, there he is. He parked right there. You know what I mean? He drove past. Oh, all my neighbors, but my neighbors on my block. See the neighbors, like down the street, may have them, but my neighbors on my block don't do surveillance like that. This is a doorbell. A lot of people. Have Yeah, so we got footage from the security camera. Um, you know, a lot of people have security cameras lately. And, you know, we could probably pull footage from your... We could probably get that security camera stuff from, like, your neighbor or something. Nah, man, I I don't do drugs. Sorry. <laughs> um, it, don't even, it costs, like, nothing nowadays. Just doorbell. Nobody, you see, the doorbells is like a... So it's like a harness, and then you go into the door. So my house is the only one that, like, kind of open. That's fine. Yeah, we'll we'll see what's there and what's not. Okay. Um. So what I'm telling you is this is gonna this is gonna pan out. We don't we don't we don't throw something to the side until it makes sense. We don't put a bow on it until it makes sense. That's why I want to show you the video. Okay. To show you. And we'll get there. State. We'll get there at some point. You know, a lot of girls go through. Uh, we'll get there at some issues. point. But right now, what I'm concerned about is last night's events. Yes. Okay. Maybe her mental issues. Like I said, she was trying to kill herself about two days. I'm professional. I don't think like that. She's going through mental issues. So this is. That a, may be true. That's why I'm showing you the video because. Yeah, that may be true. Her her IQ is, you know. 
what, who Yaz texts, who I text, you know, what girl I seen that day. You know, she don't know if I if I ran into a girl and gave her my number that day when I went to Walmart or something like that. I don't she even always, comment she, she's, just, she's insecure because it's just comical. I'm getting a girl like, I don't even know what he's saying thing. anymore. So How like, do I even comment? She don't know what I'm doing. I cheated on her before. She don't know if I walk away from you again. guys and I text Please throws out this argument of an open relationship by, by I've done implying it times it's and a bad thing for her to do. And she never knew about it. So she's so... His defense you know, lawyer. How does how does you know, an employer even go I really through just this footage? To get looked at, and I want to talk to her about it um, when we get home. And just we ain't going to. Uh, Except you know, we you're busy with you John. To the house no more. We should not have you guys coming to the house no more. That's just what it is. He sure is saying words. Yes, he is. I'm sorry, you guys got to actually. Like, He's not doing a very good job of it, but he is saying them. Saying? He's good at saying words. You know. Does like, he know he can shut up? Oh, shoot. Don't be sorry. We, we, this is a voluntary job. I mean, if I don't like it, I can leave. But, but this is what we do, right? Yeah. Uh, nobody's That's forcing me to do anything. Did. I wish yeah. you did. That's where I'm at with it. Like, she, if she's mentally going it, then maybe, yeah, she jumped in the car and didn't even tell me she was in the car. Like, or she was already in the car. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you know if somebody was in the car with you? How? If she was hiding from him. She's in the car. I I'm don't just know. focused on and the road, bro. Like the journey, you know what I mean? I don't have no time to see you. I'm like, taking with you know me. I just saying? go. I'd rather, I would, I would rather. I, I know how she thinks. I can't make you do anything. We're certainly not here to try. I would rather have a discussion. I, I was hoping. I was. I would rather have coming here have a discussion with you about what happened and how and, and maybe oh, there's an sure explanation it's back on. how you can help me understand. Mm -hmm. um, Proud of him. But we're not there. We're not. We're, we're just. We're just not getting there. I'm the there. probably the most you know positive, mean? um, motivating person. I motivate everybody I meet. I yeah, you them, seem I like a them, motivated person. I give them the that. chance to hear themselves. I yeah. get a, That's the talent. Have you I given yourself the chance to hear I yourself? Them, I, I help that. I don't, I don't think he has. Yes, has he given himself a, a chance to hear to anything he's saying? Right. So let's think forward a little bit, okay? Right. Once we have, have all the information that we're currently working on right now, and it shows everything that you're telling us is not true, think about that for a second. Without even responding, just think about that for a second. So you're saying that I did. So if you, you go and look at the video I'm at QT and you don't see me get out the car, right? Okay. That's not true. I told you I went to QT. Right, right, but there's other stuff. Okay, so if you check Checkmate. the phone, okay. and you see that the phone was in one location. I'm free to go, right? Um, well, the neighborhood <laughs> location the whole time while I'm at John's house. That's not true, because I said that was true. I said okay. that's let's, true. Let's, let's... Gray doesn't seem to understand that just because his story is sprinkled with bits of truth doesn't make the whole thing true. Saying, look, I told the That's truth about this one thing isn't going to make the detective suddenly stop asking questions and decide to let you go. His separation from basic reality is a little concerning. Can you help us find John? Like I said, bro, it's like me meeting you today. I don't know where you live. We got a good vibe. Like, I feel like we could be, if I met you out in person, I'd be like, yo, what's up, bro? Absolutely. He is. He's a good dude. The thing is, he, 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 you told me yeah, yeah, yeah. you met John. Yeah. And she's pregnant. That's one other thing. Hold on. You told me you met John. Mm -hmm. You and John had a connection. Mm -hmm. John went to your house. Mm -hmm. You went to John's house. Yes. More than once. Twice. You felt so comfortable with John, yeah. with that connection, you yeah. passed out, slept at his house. Yeah, CBD, good food. Get, catch the itis. You know how we get? We catch eat food, we itis. get sleepy. We pass out. You know? We got in the pool. It was just so relaxed. True. It was, the, the body feel good. You feel good. You ain't feel like this yesterday. But you can't tell me how to get in touch with John. I don't know him like that. He has my number. But the neighbor down the street knows him well enough and knows him... No, John, the neighbor in the neighborhood. Right. Yes, sir. You said down the earth street, right? I was walking with her daughter. Yes, she's down. She's one that of the neighbors. That neighbor knows I think he was talking about John his, well his, enough. His yes, sir. Wife. And knows you well enough to know that both you and John are friends. So she texts John yes, sir. that police were at your house mm -hmm. and John relayed that information to you. Mm -hmm. And you were at John's house this Not morning. Guilty, obviously. But you can't, te you can't tell me. With that relationship and that history and that tight circle that you have, mm -hmm. there's no way. Your Honor, my client had the itis at John's house at the time of the crime. It is impossible 
for him to have been at his house during the time of this crime if he had the itis at John's house. He was suffering from a severe food coma and was therefore unable to commit this act at the time it was committed. I rest my case. No more questions. He's guilty? What, what do you mean? <laughs> Where you could tell me how to make contact with John. No way whatsoever. No, because life ain't like life. Life is unexpected. You know, is there I, a way to contact that lady who you said text? I don't know. Joe. Well, I, if I seen her, I'd know her. If I seen her, I would know, like, oh, that's the lady that said what's up to John that day. They only seen me outside probably like two, three, four times. So every time I come outside, there's nobody outside. It's too hot. So when I'm outside, I'm John, she just ran it. Just luckily, we ran into each other. That's all. John is about my height, he's loud. So you're, you're saying that, did, it, did you go in, into anything that Candace said? Rambling. Even the guy making this video is like, no. Do you, do you have any injuries on you or scratches no more. or anything like that? I have football injuries. Yeah, Can of you, course. Do you mind if I take a look? Do you mind standing up and showing me? Yeah. There's all, it's always one of two kinds of interrogations that we watch that we end up watching that are really the interesting ones is it's either like the person is saying so much stuff that the police can use against them or the person is just saying so much stuff that it, I can't even how do I talk about this because he's just saying nothing he is saying everything and nothing how do I even talk about it it's just entertaining in itself I don't know are you okay? Is that from football? Ah, yeah. <laughs> How convenient ah, that it's shown up now. Uh, so, uh... Hey, calm down. My knee, man. Did he just claim his knee was injured and then slap it? Did he just go, yeah, my arm really hurts. Yeah, I'm injured. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right here, man. What's that from? Uh... Trying to get me down. Wrestling with John. Uh, and this was with who? With John? John and some ASU guys. You know, I could compete with the football players. Where do you get that from? I'm wide receiver, so. This one right here. Oh, I'm wide receiver, so. Get off me. You know how they try to push on you? This dude got long nails. Like, yeah. Get off me. So, where else? Where else? Do you have any injuries on your shirt? Or on your on your chest area? Where you get that? Oh. On your right side. Oh, right when I got tackled. Why are you popping his hips so like all of that, that though? Is from, you don't need to. You no. can sit down. Why do you so pop his hips? Is from football. Yes, sir. Those injuries are not consistent with, you know, scratches from playing football. No, I mean, can I stand up again? Because I've had those injuries before. No, can I stand up? Similar stand injuries. Up? You know I'll how show. I obtained I'll, some I'll of those injuries? Again. They were very similar. How? Getting over a wall. No. Hell no. Well, no? I do that too. Yeah, I do that. You do that? Yeah. When was the last time you were over a wall? I do that all the time. When was the last time you were over a wall? Those scratches are fresh, like they happen uh, today. When the last time? I always do it, at, especially at night. Cause okay. It's, it's like gymnastics. Okay. When That's was the last time you were over uh, a wall? Those scratches look very fresh. Uh, maybe last night to come back. Gymnastics now? What to we come back to the house last yeah. night? Yes, sir. Good what time? Um, not sure. Not sure at all. I so, forgot that John and I played but yes, tag. I do it. it like, so you came back. He didn't go through the front door. He went over the wall. No. I, to get over, to to cut the distance. Sometimes that's what you do. To cut the distance. So you went over the wall. Which wall was that? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> what wall that was? But yeah, no. This not. This is not from wall. This is not from wall. But look at it. Yeah, yeah. it definitely is. Is. Look, I see it right yeah. here. That's, yeah, that's if I'm like, if I'm like this, a wide receiver in ASU, a, a cornerback in ASU, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like, okay, yes, you think you're going to catch this ball. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no equipment on him, and he got long nails. So I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's look that's at the nails. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nails. 
That's eight all. nails. No, but we all playing football. Eight for, nails. That's at least eight, eight yeah, nails at different like locations. Of, you see, this one is longer. <laughs> They're all consistent. They're going in the same direction. Yes, but this you always, I always do the same. Hold on a second. They're yes, going sir. in the same direction. <laughs> yes, sir. Right, and yeah. that's I, as I explained to you before. <laughs> yeah, I fingers, sustained dude. some of those injuries before, yeah. and it's by getting over a wall. But you're a police officer. But that's, yeah. that's just like football players. It's the same. You got big thighs. So mm -hmm. your workout. Could be the same workout for an athlete. You right. gotta understand, we both moving, we're alive. Right. You know what I mean? So if somebody is sticking me, somebody is on on top of me, mm -hmm. a cornerback, and he's like, you know what I mean? That's These what it is. But yes, go I do jump be walls like, because it's, it cuts the distance. And it's fun. So tell me, when was the last time you jumped day. over a wall? <laughs> I'm not sure. But you did it last night. You said you yes, did it last night to get back into the yes, house. Yes, I don't want to give you a false alarm. I just want to let you know. Oh really? You, right. you don't know why? Jump the wall, but this is from the wall, not this. Which one this, is from the wall? This is from the wall. Okay. This is from the this wall. This is from the. No, that was last night. ASU guy with, uh, the lot, yes. with eight okay. fingers and, and long nails. And that was nails. to get back into the house. Yes. Okay. When was that? Because I I missed that part. You you and said I scaled that to go Mount down Everest to get yeah, into my house. Was, yeah. Hold on. So you so, parked your car. Mm -hmm. We went through the whole light. Yeah, no, he said, no he, said, he, he said, he said, let me see your injuries. That's yeah, what he yeah, said. Yeah. And I told him. Well, I'm talking about when you jumped the wall. No, but he said, these look like wall injuries. Okay. I don't, I don't care. Anything I don't care. I'm just trying to figure out when this happened. We went through okay. the whole night. Classic yeah. wall injuries. You parked your car after you got back from QT. Mm -hmm. You left. Yeah. Anybody else ever back, get fucked up fall. by the wall? Yeah. About 15 minutes later. I had to jump the walls to do, to even uh, get back that time. That's when you jump the walls. Classic, I jump dude. the walls all the time. Especially you know, last night. night, when did you jump the wall? And I do it sometimes during the day. I ain't gonna hold you. Sometimes I, I swim in people's pools. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's a bad thing, but... Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, you know what I mean? This is a new. It's like your wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I did that, did that. Uh-huh. Okay, so when you came back, when you when you parked your car there, uh-huh. Where, where did you walk? Down the sidewalk? You jumped your wall? Uh-uh. Um... Put it up. No, I didn't jump a wall. Uh, street. It's pitch black. Let's go straight. Yeah. So you didn't jump any walls that time? Yeah, I jumped the walls to get closer to John. Okay, like through <laughs> backyards, you mean? Or backyard, what? yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Closer to John. Okay. Yeah, I'm hopping over the backyard to get to the oversize. And then when you came back to get your phone, you jumped over the walls, walls to get too? close oh, to John? Because it, it cuts distance. Okay. And it's hot outside, you will get a heat stroke. Okay. Yeah. So you want to cut time outside because it's hot and you don't want heat stroke. So instead you climb walls, which is arguably more effort to get closer to John to then play football outside where you're scared of getting heat stroke because it's too hot. Something ain't adding up here, guys. I'm, I'm starting to think he's making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then after you got your phone, you left again. You jumped some more walls. Yeah. Do I bury it? Buried it. Okay. Yeah, I jumped some more walls. Jump some more walls. You buried your phone. Classic. Yeah. Classic phone burial. You always bury it in the same place. As I do. One does. But the kids. And I did bury it. I'm like, surprised. Like it is late kids. outside, but they're outside. I'd love to know where this was, because if um, I could go out there and find some fresh dirt where you buried this phone, that would help verify your story. Yeah. Um, I mean, if it's always in the same place. You know the construction site where the construction workers are? Yep, right trust about, me, bro. Like around that area. Um, I thought okay, he said it was yeah. by a mailbox. Okay. Yeah. And then you went to John's house and you stayed there until this morning. Yes, sir. We're getting a, a little romantic. bit more each time, right? Why did you not tell us that you went back to the house and you had to jump the wall to get back into the house? Why did you not tell us that? I don't know, man. I should have said that. But I, think like, I don't know. I'm just what, making this shit up the, as I go. I mean, you got so <laughs> off, like a face mask. I don't know. It's sunscreen, so I be playing football. Gotcha. You know, you get the sun. You want the sun to hit your face. Oh you no, it's smart. Day. It's smart. You, know, you leave work. You want to put on that like, outfit. Mm. You know. Yeah. No, it's smart. I just yeah. didn't know. Okay. That's right. Um, because some people do like the skin. Uh, what is it? You know, skin. Oh yeah. I should have been with dried yeah. off though. I'm surprised. Most of it's gone. There's just a little bit. Left. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I'm jumping walls. Sometimes I swim in people's pools. So when you went back inside, where was Candace? Last night when you went back inside, what was she doing? 
Sometimes I jump my neighbor's walls and swim in their pools, which I'm sure none of them would notice and complain about. It's such an inconspicuous task to swim in a stranger pool. No, he just asked me, he said, he just asked me about, Get away so you've been all jumping time. walls, you've been jumping walls, so you jumped You walls. told me that you went back to your house last night and you jumped the wall to get in there. Gray keeps adding to his story, but the problem when you do that is it is harder to get things to line up correctly. I can't And you have to it. fill those gaps with even more lies. His story was flimsy to begin with, but now it's practically hey. in shreds. No, no, not to get in the house. I jumped the walls to get back to my house. I'm sorry to say, but to get to my house, I'm jumping the walls. So when I'm leaving John, I'm jumping the walls. It's about daylight I you were jumping I'm still the walls jumping the walls to get back to, to my house to, to talk to y'all. Okay. That's all. Okay. I wasn't going to jump over my own fence and y'all think I'm Mark or something or whoever. I'm like, no, I'm going to go over and talk to y'all. I don't know said what's he was going jumping on. I ain't jumping over to my neighbors and getting into my own... Uh, uh, land. Did you? That's all. He okay. said he did. He said he did. Yeah. And you said you have done it multiple times. Because yeah. it cuts the distance. But yeah, but the thing is, you guys were there. And you said you did that last night to go back to the house. I didn't go back to the house last night. I came back when you guys found me. And I went to the house. That's when I came God. back. So that's why I'm jumping back. You get it? So I'm jumping back during that time. Any he's, other time, he's jumped the, fence, the, cops, he's jumped yes. the wall three different times. I'm getting back in the house from jumping over the walls. You know what I'm saying? It's it's as a what do you say? It's Arizona. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a travel place. It's like you got the Grand Canyon. So because you, you knew we the officers were at the house, you didn't want to be jumping walls and looking like you were doing something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want y'all like if the neighbors complained about it. Okay. Or if something happened, I just didn't want to be that culprit, the one that was jumping the walls. So I just didn't. So when your phone was buried between like ten, what we say like ten thirty, ten forty five, something like that. Mm -hmm. Until you went and got it this morning. Mm -hmm. You not worried about dirt getting in it and everything like that? Uh, nah. Okay. Because I got insurance, so I feel like I get a, phone, a new phone every month. Okay. And it's like it still seems to... easier to me just to like throw it in a cabinet or something, right? <laughs> well, that's you don't find it. No, I get your friend's it. house. It's your friend's house. Oh, your friend's house? Yeah. Take it, throw it in the cabinet, sound like a tile, and turn it off. I'm not even messing with my phone until the morning. But you don't trust them though. You want to be aware of where everything, you know, everything you're doing, and you trust them. There's not nothing meat and bad going on. It's still A B C D E F G. It's just so it's the second time you've been to John's house. Yeah, but you bury your phone out there all the time near the house, so that the phone is like near the crib, like um, Estrella where construction is. Yeah. So we're spelling okay. the alphabet now. What huh? other? Where else do you go that you buried out there so you don't take it with you? Um, man, I mean the kids see me bury it. The kids that be at the playground, they see me bury it. And I, and I, well, shoot, man. Sometimes you were, I bury you were, it. You were just worried that John might take your phone. You know, we're about these kids taking your phone? No, I trust the kids, though. Because okay. I know that it's a burn phone. There's nothing on it. It's just like... But but you're worried about John taking your phone. I don't know about him. I'm not worried about him. So he can't worry about him. He's worried about taking burner, phone, man. But there's I'm nothing on it. But it's a burner. I'm trying to say this. But you're worried about people you taking it even though it's a burner? Because the phone is going to make you unaware. I've been, I'm from Philly. So if, if people getting killed for looking down at their phone, they look around and get shot. So I'm saying I don't need to be in that city. And one, I got to protect my image and protect what I do. So I need to be aware and conscious Which at all times. Which is nothing because you're not okay, working. I don't need a phone. You my phone, John. What you want to talk about, John? So would anybody, anybody over here, John? Okay, come. All right. Would anybody have used that phone? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Between the, well, I was buried. From yes, sir. You buried at 10 and something. Yes, sir. Until you got it this morning. Yes, sir. Would anybody have used that phone for any reason? If they charged it. Only, so that phone should not have been used. No. Because if somebody used it, that means they went, unburied it, used it. <laughs> And I don't seem... And then buried it true. for you to get. I don't seem true. And Can you imagine if he actually met a guy at the CB store named John that day before he did all of this and he's just like adding John to this crime spree? It's like getting this random guy involved for no reason to the, other than to cover his own ass. And the thing is, it was dead when I... When I because when the officers were at your house mm -hmm. before you got there. Okay. They called that number, that phone. That would be mm -hmm. fucked up. They talked to 
presumably you. And my boy John. House. I met him two days ago. About I'm the black that ain't me. Food and well, stuff what I'm, saying, me. I'm what black though. No. What I'm, I'm black though. No. What I'm saying is what? somebody was using it. So what was that? Well, okay. So called that number, that phone. Mm -hmm. And talked to presumably you inside your house about I'm the black, but that ain't me. Well, what I'm saying, me. I'm what black, no. what I'm, I'm black, no. what I'm saying is somebody uh -huh. was using it. So, what, okay, the piece I'm trying to fill in here isn't whether or not the person that was using your phone was black, uh -huh. but the person that was using their phone was using the phone. Period. Anybody. It was buried. Uh -huh. Right? So yeah. when they talk to somebody on the phone... What, what did they say? What did they talk to? Well, them? I didn't have the phone conversation. But it was on that number, right? right? Uh -huh. So after they talked to that person that was pretending to be you, uh -huh. they went back out there and buried it again. So that when you were walking home this morning, you could unbury it and bring it home with you. Uh -huh. I don't make sense. I know. <laughs> Here, Gray is probably the most honest he has been during this entire interview. <laughs> this is His story doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense, not from any angle. Jim Dar's story, on the Man, other who hand, said that? lines up perfectly <laughs> with corroborating facts. I don't, that, that part of the story don't make sense. I, know. I don't know if that's even true. How can somebody talk on that phone if it's dead? <sighs> Holy shit. Well, I suppose if it was dead, they couldn't. I'm so I'm, just tired. I'm not yeah. telling you. I know, I know. I'm not telling you how it works. I'm, I'm just telling you this, the steps that I know. I know a phone call was made on that phone to somebody while they were outside your house talking to somebody. Did he get a recording somebody. of that? Did he record it? I'm, sh I'm sure. We record everything. If he recorded it, then maybe we... We, we can record speak. everything. Maybe we, we, we can, you know, figure something out. As far as I find my eyes. So you and my partner talked to my partner mentioned a little bit. Yeah. Um, before I stepped out about thinking ahead and looking forward. Yeah. And I talked to you a little bit about the steps that we on, on our side are going to take to help to help establish these facts, right? Or yeah, you're not just going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So looking ahead, thinking forward. Did she, what, did she get treated yet? Knowing what we're going to... She's... Yeah, that's what, that's no, the other half dude, of our job, right? That's, how, just, that's how we take care of things. So, right. I know she's been probably in the Knowing that no, that's where we're five headed in the hospital, man. with this investigation. Yeah. And we sit down and we have another conversation with you later. Okay? Let's, let's imagine. Later we sit down, we have another conversation, and we tell you, listen, Mr. Gray, this is what, this is what we saw. This yeah. is what we found out between neighbor cameras or GPS on your phone, um, all they, that stuff we talked about. Did the cops, so I was gone when probably the cops were there. Did the cops see the vehicle in the driveway? Because if they seen the vehicle They're in the driveway, that. that tells you that I'm telling the truth. Because like I said, I dropped the vehicle back home and I went back to John's. But he was on the phone. You said he was. That, that, that doesn't tell me that you're telling the truth, but it tells me that, that the vehicle was in the driveway and that wherever you were was because he was in the house or on that foot phone, somewhere. Because that phone don't add up with what you're saying. If somebody called off that phone, you're saying that. No, none of this, Mr. Gray. None of no, this. No, no, no. That, that's the only piece of the story no, no, that no. I feel like that doesn't add <laughs> up. For you, based on what you're laying out for us, but yeah. I can tell you right now, to be yeah. perfectly honest, yeah. on this side of the table, None of that, so. And if you look at the video, I went to the QT. Let me just say this. I got no problem with that. Yeah, you'll see me at the QT, you'll see me pump gas. You ain't gonna see anything else. You see me walking out of my house. You may see that. You may see those videotapes of me walking out of my house because some people don't have those tapes. Some people don't. Yeah, and then you may not see that. And then what you may. But if you have them, that if you have a doorbell, then you will? What does he mean that some pe What? see is me hopping over fences or something like that um to get to john's house maybe which you may now he's hopping over a fence to get to john's house you said he only hopped over the fence to get home see. someone called by the way someone called and said hey <laughs> someone just jumped over my fence i don't know who so uh, what you may see is the video that i'm gonna show you which is going to support her mental health what more rambling <laughs> Have you ever used the name Mark before? No, not at all. My name is Okay. You've never used the name Mark before. What Sorry. if I tell you, right? Yeah. Potential. Like we're thinking it's ahead. Juicy again. now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Down the road. Yeah. 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 
uh, history to show fat, we're getting through the juice that whenever you check into hotels you use the name mark before mm -hmm. and when you're ordering food we have information I order food we have information Please that get all this lead us to believe that you have used that name mark the detective has let Gray bury himself up to the neck in lies before he dropped this particular nugget of information. As they do. It looks like Mark may not even exist, which calls John into question as well. Before. Never. Never. And it's consistent uh -oh, with... Chad. I don't order food. My, my, my girl cooks food. Mr. Gray, it's, it's, food. it's consistent with you using this name, Mark, again, making this phone call no. from that location. Mark is a common name, sir. I don't use if If anything, when I did this TV show, you see, look, I'm from the TV show, Empire. I know you know. I would use aliases. Okay. I wouldn't use Mark. Wasn't the other, wasn't that one guy who, like, faked a hate crime on himself also on Empire? What is going on with that show? What are they doing to the, what? Who are they getting on this show? Why are they all like fucked up? What? I will use other aliases so they don't know. You can hear my voice and you can tell it's me sometimes. I've also you never seen so the show. Like, I would need to use a different name back then. I don't even know what that show's about. Now that she cooks for me every day, I cook for her every day. We don't. So you're out. saying? So you're saying? Uh, I'm in Chicago. And I'm trying. I'm trying to track the conversation about the phone call. Yeah. Because I was in here. Yeah, I'm saying so you're Chicago. saying, when I came and I sat Chicago, down, you were saying, Chicago yeah, have to do so he's this, putting bro. it on me. He's yeah. trying to put it on me. Yeah. Who are you making reference to trying to put this on Because if me? I found this out, I'm looking for him. Now, hold on. He's going second. down. Who are you saying is trying to put all of this on you? Because Mark. Mark. Yes. Because you're saying Mark the alias you dialed make from up. your call he the would... police from your number. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. He tried... He... He was quickly thinking of a person to pin this on, and the first made-up name he thought to give them was the same name he uses for himself. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> he had to when I left the phone in there, but I don't understand. So Mark's fingerprint yeah. should be on your Mark. phone, yes? <laughs> it should be. Mm. Mark, or at least somebody, at least somebody. 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 Right. Wow, that's or funny. if he's smart, you wipe it down. I don't know what type of street smart he has. I don't know if he is street smart. But you but didn't wipe it down. Hell no. I didn't wipe it down once I digged it up off the ground. Still covered in dirt? Still covered in dirt, but we don't know how street smart this guy is because you know why? He did all this and it's still... That's crazy. It's still, y'all still don't believe me, so I feel like he is smart. He'd been in this situation before. He knew how to manipulate the evidence because we're talking about me, somebody that showed up and tried to show y'all something of what so we're, you know, what's going on, on instead of right? somebody that's missing. That's just like, you know, a murderer walking but, but freely. But a murderer but, walking but, freely. But while you were out, where you were out getting gas, on that. but while you were out getting gas, yeah, you're telling me that Mark called from your phone to to report her missing mm -mm. that phone was used only for youtube at that time to play music um and that was it then why Those hide phones. it i got back to the house the car left the phone in the car went to john house came back buried the phone yeah somehow but that's why it. bury the phone it's, if it's, it's just, just for right. music and it's youtube Okay. Well, it's a silence long day. your phone, I don't man. Know, man. God damn. Long day. Why are we burying the phone you use for videos and music? Do you guys music? have rough sex? Sometimes. Last night, did you? Or yesterday? We always do. Okay. What's rough? Uh, anything. Cause she's she's tender. She's tender. Well, what do you mean? Like what? Just you said sometimes. Describe your version of rough. You want to really hear this? Yeah, it's kind of important. I uh, hitting it from the back. You know. Um, that's really it. Okay. But any like, any like, um, you know, any like. <laughs> yeah, we do all sorts of crazy stuff, bro. We, you know, like, I get behind her and that's all we do. <laughs> like, we have, I have sex, we have sex on each other, like, so much. Like, we do, like, uh uh the like when 
like when I like f and and her and we like this like the, this part and then and then and then I I do the thing and then she's like whoa and that and we do that you know what I mean <laughs> I'm daddy's like you really want to hear this all right we do doggy that's it <laughs> you got me I'll admit it <laughs> he named one thing and he's like I don't think I don't think you want to hear all of the stuff we do all right one that was it's just the one just the one thing one extremely normal thing that <laughs> this guy this guy's a freak like rough stuff like she wants you to slap her or hit her you, she, she hits you uh, um, right, sometimes she like me to slap did he her. say no she liked that on her butt no so she, she slapped her, her face her face she likes that okay yeah and did I you yesterday her. from every time every time she wants it did she want it yesterday um it's like a hard no. way to okay no. She didn't ask you to. How do you know when she wants it? Like, How do you even? She tells you to. Okay. Um, anything else like choking? Uh, I know there's a lot of that kind of stuff. No, no, I don't do that. Okay. What about her to you? Uh, I know there's a lot of that kind of stuff. Too. Okay. Um, anything else like choking? Uh, I know there's a lot of that kind of stuff. No, no, He's saying I don't know okay. how to do that. What about her to you? Uh. Well, you know what? Yeah, I might do this from the like. In the back, that's it. Okay. What's yeah. that? Around the neck, shoulders? What are you talking about? Shoulders, like the whole thing. Sometimes I might just grab a whole neck. Okay. Yeah. This Gray must This literally sounds like somebody who has never had sex a single time in their life. Trying to find out how people have sex through like context clues of everybody else in the conversation sharing how they have sex with people. <laughs> He's like yeah, and like so we do like this stuff sometimes, you know. And I'm like, oh, it's too crazy. And then she's like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, you know, <laughs> you know, right? So <laughs> caught himself and remembered that she is going to have fresh bruising around her neck. What he doesn't realize is that it is possible to tell the hand position, and if yep. that is compatible with the situation he described. Fingerprints. Like that. Okay. How do you know if you're squeezing too hard around her neck? I don't. I don't. It, I don't get off on it. I just get off on, you know. That's not her and liking that type of stuff. That wasn't no, the but question. I mean, how do you know? Like, so that you know that it doesn't get to that point, I like never, accidentally. I'm saying. Oh, I never did it. I'm tender. That's supposed to be your wife. Okay. You know? That's your well, wife. Did, did you do that yesterday when you guys had sex? Yes. Okay. But it it wasn't like you know like crazy. You know, Somebody she, tells me you're not. I never go like that. Okay. That shit's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did she confront you about anything? Was she mad at you about anything? I I don't even understand, bro. I crazy. She's always mad about a girl. Or mad about something, you know. It's never. I don't know. Yeah, what was she mad about yesterday? She's a sure. smart female, man. Yeah. She's very smart, you know. What was she mad about yesterday? She's just, you know. If she see me texting, she's like, what you doing? You're not texting girls, are you? I'm like, no, I ain't texting nobody. You're not worried about that. And that's what, yesterday? That's like every day. That's our language. No, I know, but I want to focus on what happened yesterday, oh. man. What, what was yesterday? What was her deal that's yesterday? That's our language. When I'm talking to you, it's because I'm in the, I'm getting here. When I'm free, I'm free. I get to say what I want. I get to do what I want. It's my world. So that's our, that's our language. That's how our health get down. If you're around somebody like this, and I'm looking at you, I'm giving you life when you look at me in the eye. It's, you gotta, you allowing me to, to, to be that vessel. Cause every man is like Jesus. You allowing my body to be used as a vessel. I just want to know That's what she was mad about yesterday. All right. Yeah, I mean, she always mad about something, but like I said, she's a smart woman. She don't, she always want to keep my attention. So what did her. she do yesterday? What did she tell you yesterday? Physically with her mouth, what did she say yesterday? She's just like, you better not be texting those girls. Okay, and then what What did you say back? I said, cool. I and that was it? That. Was that before the sex or after the sex? That's before and after sometimes. Yesterday? Yeah, I go oh, in the yesterday. bathroom. I, leave, I got my phone in the bathroom. I come out the bathroom. What she says is, you texting those girls? You better be texting those girls. Okay, cool. I ain't texting nobody. 
Okay. So you guys had this conversation before and after sex yesterday? Yeah, I listened to her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, what we do is shown on television through different hey, movies, hey, different hey, mediums. Hey, you have cops, hey, you have, you know, uh, GSR, 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 fire. Right. Yeah. So you, you probably understand what fingerprints, the, the potential that fingerprints could bring to an investigation to show that. I just pet Birdie and she went, ew. <laughs> A person touched an item, same thing with DNA, mm -hmm. to show that they were at this particular location. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me, yes, sir, why your DNA would be on a chunk of hair that's under the bathroom uh -huh. in uh -huh. your house yeah. that belongs okay. to her? Yes. How do you explain that? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Now, I'm sure you will. I'm in the bedroom. Now, you know the bedroom setup is the bathroom. It's the bedroom, it's the cat. I tell her all the time. Stop combing your hair so much. You're breaking your hair off. I didn't marry you because you you got you want to shorten your hair. I married you because you have long, beautiful hair. Yes, I, I she's tender headed as well. I try not to pull her hair while we have sex, but I just can't help it sometimes. But with that, she's combing her hair and she's like, babe, look. I'm like, well, this is ain't a lot this time. You know, we, we she does that a lot. Who's gonna tell him combing her hair doesn't make it shorter? She combed her hair, and without wetting it, it comes out. So what I did yeah, was, cause it's dead. I put it on the sink when she gave it you to comb me. You comb out dead hair. Hand, I put it on the sink, and then I put it in the drawer, cause I want her to remember. This is you don't want to keep you don't want to keep stressing your hair out. Stop. I, I told it, her you I, take care of everything but your hair. Take care of your hair. I tell her that every day. But they said it's I said, babe, take care of your hair. You don't gotta worry about anything else. Just take care of your hair. You worried about everything else, but taking care of your hair. So whatever they do that know they hair can test come the hair out, for yes. DNA, does it cause right? an irritation to her head like it was yanked out? She sometimes she she's watching TV, which we just got cable. We didn't have cable. Let me say this: we didn't have cable our whole relationship. We don't watch cable. We wow. Don't, she didn't have a phone until like two or three weeks ago. What a fucking hero. So. Yeah, that's something to think about. She's not having a phone. She's, she's not having no phone for about three weeks. You know, I'm just giving her a phone because our connection, we had too many people involved in our life. We just needed to get away I from that. I thought you said right now. We got away from that. And so while she's watching TV, she's combing her hair. And just like the F1 Savannah cat, scratches her and bites her sometimes. She tells me, like, Simba just bit me in the butt. And I say, you know, I say Simba, you know, he's a, he's a wildlife animal. You know, I take him out the room, and that's what I do. I have three cats, well, two cats, one dog. So she's combing her hair. She, you can even, you can even ask her. No, I get it. You I can get get ask her to comb her hair. She combed the hair out, right? Yeah, yes, sir. She combed the hair out. So, which neighbor? Lots of women shed heavily when they comb their hair, but very few actually pull it out by the roots when doing so. Yeah, it's also hard to believe that he hair. would put a wad of that hair in a drawer in an attempt to get her to take better care of her hair. But hair. in this complicated fiction that he has woven, it is probably one of the easier points to overlook. Which neighbor has John's phone number? Bro, I literally would tell you if I knew. I would say, this house right here, this is, you know what I mean? Just like the dirt you bikes, out your front just like the dirt bikes that ride around that's not street legal. They get on my nerves sometimes. It's a simple question, man. You talk to this neighbor. Mm -hmm. She called John. Mm -hmm. Which neighbor is it? I don't know. I, like I said, I just moved around here. I, it's one Trump supporter across the street from me. I don't like Trump. Okay. That's the only one that I don't really is be it fond that, of. It's not that neighbor, then? It's not. Is it to the side of you? I only noticed two people since I moved here. So you don't, you don't know? No. But she knows John. Mm -mm. How she got his number? Oh, not Candace doesn't know John. No, your but neighbor. She, did. she knows John. Your neighbor. Your neighbor knows John. How does, how does she know John? I love how both uh, of the officers are on their phone at parents. this point because they're so sick of his it. His parents, not her parents. His parents. <sighs> how? You need to use the bathroom Stop. or anything? Stop. Okay. They're just like so playing you said where she lost her hair from, there's no <laughs> irritation there, no redness or anything like that when she combs her hair. 
So she comes her here. Um, you know, like the, the loss of here that you're talking about. The loss of here that she comes the edges. The loss of here that's in like where we just talked about. Yes, that's a, for a regular person that'd be a lot of here, but for her that's just every day. That's every day for her. And irritation, yes, when you pull on her hair when we having sex, she's like, babe, you gotta stop. You know what I mean? So you think like, there's an irritation to her hair or oh, head now? Um, period. When I first met her, you know. So there's irritation to her head now from period. from her hair loss. No, no, no. It's this irritation from like you know when we have True. sex. Sometimes I pull. What do her you hair. mean? You Did you make, pull her hair recently? I always do when we have sex, but I don't. It's like she said, you gotta be lightly. So I do it lightly. You gotta be lightly. Her. Write Her that down, head chat. Is bleeding or something when like you that, have but, sex, you gotta you know, be lightly. Not to the point where we pull out. <laughs> no. She pulls when she combs her hair. This guy's a she'll genius. Give me the hair and I'll just put it up somewhere. I don't just throw it away. I'm like, you know, African American women they buy this type of hair. You know, you need to take care of your hair. That's all. I'm trying to answer all y'all questions that y'all wanna know. I don't think Money, you are. I appreciate it. But yeah, so, we're, just, we're just trying to at least leave the room with some understanding, right? I don't of what you're gonna. to us because we have to. I didn't even get to make a report. We have to keep going back and forth. Handcuffs. I didn't even get to make a report of anything. Yeah, I just, you you yeah, are. Said, you, you're, put the suit you on right him. now. Yeah, I didn't even give me the chance to. You are. You know, this is people it. using the phone. This you is said the allegedly report. she knows where I buried the Against phone as well. You. Maybe she said something to him. He probably buried that phone over blah blah blah. He you guys are interrogating me like I'm a suspect or I something. I told her where I buried it. Wait a minute. <laughs> you told her? Yeah, I told her. Mm. Where did you tell her you buried it? Oh, um, right where Why I told you. Why didn't I get to, to make a statement? There's a house right there. The first house. That's so if you're house. sitting down, you're talking to her, telling her where you buried it. I'm starting to, to think I should call well, for a lawyer. <laughs> In the final moments of the interview. Gray says that he told Jimdar where his phone is buried. Why? The whole point of burying it was supposedly so she couldn't go through it. Yes. If she knows where it is, she can just go dig it up, My which God. means the whole process is pointless. Good Lord. Bro. Gray is a prime example of a person who is incapable of lying effectively. <laughs> he may say that Jimdar isn't able to make herself understood very well in English, but she gets her story across more clearly and more accurately than Gray. Rashir Gray pleaded guilty to a charge of aggravated assault Can't in February it. 2021. Other related charges against him, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and kidnapping, were dropped. Gray received 10 days in jail plus three years of probation. Terms of his probation included not being able to drink any alcohol and to not have any contact with the victim in any form unless approved by the Adult Probation Department in Arizona. <sighs> 10 days unbelievable i need to like figure out if i can hear the english language properly again because i can't i i feel like i just listened to nothing for two hours i don't know what i just heard that was something else you gotta go lightly with it you know, <laughs> you, know how, you know how it is <laughs> I'm not here with As my one phone, does. You know? As one does. I'm, Anybody I'm, else lightly to... doing doing stuff right. lightly right now? I'm I'm like being I'm doing so it lightly light right with now. John over here. I'm, right. I'm yeah. And then you're you know. over there. You've got thighs. Yeah. Like my God. And like you know my you stomach know. and I got one head and I haven't eaten we, so like my stomach my one head I'm trying to have a baby you know what I mean I got a throat which the the food goes down into my stomach regions. Uh -huh. Right, and then that gets digested. Right, we all digest. We're humans. Sometimes, I mean, right? you know, I we're humans. I try not sometimes. to think about that. But then sometimes I am the I am the lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man. You know, good film. It's a good film. You know, we all watch movies. We're all why people is it a good film? Here, you want to expand on why you think it's a good film? You see, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So right. Like so here. Movie, so like, like, so the, like first off, like the movie's good, right? I think that I think that's pretty good. You know, yeah, I, I like think a that big it's Spider Man like, guy. You know, it's got like it's got like nice visuals and everything. You know, good looking Visual, visuals. Visuals. Good looking, how? Good looking visuals. Like you know, like good what? Looking, good like looking. What part? Good looking. Good looking visuals. You know, good looking visuals on screen. You know, good like, looking. Like what visuals, visuals were were your favorite? You know, just hot hot visuals. Just really <laughs> nice and. And hot visuals, like and just you had like nice a particular visuals. scene that you liked, and just uh, 
like did was it like the yeah, plot uh, that you really liked or like the like the well no i mean it's just like when, whenever whenever or? whenever you know no, no no but it's just like whenever spider-man got injured you know like with like claws and everything i was just like the visuals are about to get nice because that cut is gonna have to get treated and you know what that means uh health insurance <laughs> <God>. or <laughs> no it means that the visuals are about to get hot how can you explain <laughs> basically in the amazing spider-man what happens is he gets like a cut mm -hmm. from like the claws right yeah go and on. like obviously you don't want to get that infected and everything right yeah of course not so then what they do is you gotta you gotta take off the shirt you know is that right and it's just like the cuts are like ew that's gross but then like there's a lot of other there's a lot of other stuff as well you know well, who took off the shirt? I'm confused. You lost me. Well, 